Catacomb and um, everybody here. Beard, you got your NDA in, correct? Yes. Um, all right. So obviously can't talk about it outside of this little group or uh, obviously you can talk about it to each other or other people that are NDA'd. Um, and so, yeah, looking at it, Rob, the way this is laid out is um, you start in water deep, um, actually at the yawning portal. And yeah. Rob, it looks like there's uh, quest givers that like send you on different starting adventure hooks and stuff like that okay. that eventually might lead you down into the into the uh, whatever the hell this place is called. So level level nineteen has uh, sixteen areas, is what I see here. Okay, yeah, I think this one's at seventeen, so that's probably about the same. Okay. Um, so I know, uh, Stooner and Yurash and Rob, you've done this before, uh, here, kind of what we'll do is, um, kind of let y'all have free, free reign to explore stuff like that. Kind of like a normal, uh, D and D adventure. Um, once we play through something, I will stop. We'll talk about it. Um, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if it was too hard, if it was too easy, um, if I TP cage you with a bunch of kinku in the very first encounter, <laughs> um, uh, but take kind of take your own notes as we go through, because um, then at the end you'll fill out that little survey and they'll ask like specifics. What did you think of this? What did you think of that? Um, we'll kind of we'll probably brush over a lot of the if there is any RP kind of we'll touch on it, but. Just due to time constraints, we'll kind of blow over it pretty quickly. No problem. Um, so let's see here. A little backstory. Um, is everybody familiar with Halister Blackcoat? No. He's that he's that dude that uh he's that dude. That's it. That's he's the the dude that did the one thing. He wears a black coat. <laughs> <laughs> probably um so what he ended up doing is um long story short is he actually created the undermountain um dungeon and stuff like that he kind of went crazy and like built this giant thing underground underneath his tower um and that's where actually water deep ended up being found is around this ruined tower and Dernan, the guy that owns the Yawning Portal, or, the, yeah, the tavern, he's, the well is actually built above the entrance to the Undermountain. Um, so starting off, there would be, uh, like, starter quest to send you out on errands, I think, to get you up to level to get you down in there. Um, but we're starting on level 11, so let me get to that. Sorry, Schmo, can you repeat the name of the the module? Um, it is Codename Catacomb. Uh, the official title will be Waterdeep Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Which, Rob, isn't that the... That's the new one that's coming out to the one that we playtested, isn't it? Dragon Heist? Yeah, the one we playtested before was part one. This is part two. Oh, nice. They come out in September and November. Thanks. Let me yeah, share shit. share this map with you. And y'all are in the bottom right hand corner. Just a quick question. What uh book does the Wand of Orcus come from? Isn't it Dungeon Master's um, Guide? Yeah, uh, the DMG. So I was trying to load like the tables and stuff. I'm like, nah, it's not loading the table. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, let me see if I can fix that real quick. All right, you should be able to now.
Um, so y'all start on level 11. Let's see here. Let me zoom in. Um, you got the map to work pretty good. Yeah, I was able to, to grid it out pretty well. Um, 10 foot per square. I was able to size it down and get it to where it was. Yes, yeah, so it's, I was, I was happy. I didn't have to fight it for too long. Um, so y'all come down into this part of the, the dungeon. Um, there's the description. There actually is no real, real description of it whatsoever. Um, so yeah, where would y'all uh, like to go to? Let's see what's Let's see what's around the corners. All right. Is uh, you, you... go ahead. No, nothing. I was Steve gonna is. say you cannot go up to level ten, so I apologize for that. <laughs> Damn it! I want to go up to level <laughs> ten right now. I don't have that. Oh, what the hell? That was weird. Let's see what's going on? Thanks, Fancy Grounds, for kicking me out. Oh, I didn't get kicked out. What's happening? Like the program just like completely shut down on me. I'm like, wow. That's shitty. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. I am on the edge of dark. Let's see who Mong Mong Blaum and Fritz. Which who's who? Moonglum. Is uh is me? Okay. He's a dual wielding uh, rogue fighter. Yes. So Fritz is got Fritz. Two clerics. Uh... Wait, the fucking party sheet has the wrong. I'm like, what in the hell? The party sheet has the wrong. Uh... <laughs> I was no, like, see, what? I... Is... I fucking flipped out when I saw that. I was like, what the hell? I opened it up. I looked at them. I was like, I remember all those characters. They were lots of fun. You know, it's funny. We could have played the same characters because we could have just leveled them up, but it's fine to have a different You know, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. But Somebody... I don't think that y'all had a healer. Somebody's all kind of fighter six, rogue five craziness. I like it. Two clerics. <laughs> okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And it's great because we're both life clerics. Nice. That's going to just be heal central, man. So it's up to me to kill everything then. Awesome. I didn't I didn't take any healing spells at all. Not not even the <laughs> one that I like. And you're a life cleric? That's fucked up because you get a, your wisdom on No, I'm joking. It. Okay. I got 20 wisdom and I have taken a lot of healing. He's he's right. relying on the healer feet to do all of his stuff. <laughs> all right. I am going to sneak up here and look in the between the cracks <laughs> because that's how I do it. All right. So you peek into the cracks and you see Oh, um, go time. <laughs> well, I don't yell that. A but... bunch of a bunch of drow. Um you see a rather um one right. that looks to be in charge um that is kind of tending to uh, a giant lizard that has like a mouth on it. Uh, is it dark down here? Um, you know, it does not specify, uh, so we will say yes, it is. All right. Well, I'll hand one stone to Moonglow with hey, light sure. cast on it, and I'll look at Claire and be like, uh, "Can you help out the other guy?" Oh and, yeah. And sure. yourself. Well, I mean, it's <laughs> either one or the other. I mean, I, I'm a human as well, so. I'm the only one that can um, see. Him. I will, I am a monk who at this point is going to be fighting one-handed, believe it or not. So I will light up a torch. Okay. I mean, I can just cast light on my shield. It'd be super, you know, glaring. Yeah, uh, like, yeah. Let, let's do that because then, uh, you know, I'll just stay within the group or, what, you know, I won't run away too far. Although I am a monk and my speed's like 50. What's up? Holy shit, it did it again. Did it really? I wonder what yeah. that's about. I wonder what that's about. 
That's weird. You might have to unmute your cash. Maybe. If you, if you didn't do it already. I hate doing it because every time I go to load into a fucking game, it takes forever afterwards. You nuke your cash. <laughs> All right. So, so Rob, do you are you like hiding around the corner, striking this torch, or you see you've got the no, little? No, I'm not going to light a torch. I'm just going to look and see, okay. and if I see them, I will come back to the group and say, "Hey, hey, hey! There's like about a billion guys in there." Well, you know, I'll call it eight. Okay, and the light spell that actually gives off light, correct? Oh, that's kind of a dumb question. <laughs> that's that's why I do it in pebble, pebble form so they can close it in their hand if they choose to. Okay. But I did not specify that before what I asked. So yes, it's giving off a fuck ton of light as I'm handing it to him. All right. So so Rob, when you kind of step up to there, uh, you immediately see you see them and you see that they see you. Um, and and one of them calls out, "Who who goes there?" It is I. King of the right. Drows. We, we we do not worship a king, only a queen. Show yourself. I'll, I'll go stand there again. All right, so, so you see them. They, they kind of tense up on their weapons a little bit. They don't. They don't appear hostile, but they do appear like they're they're ready for any kind of shenanigans. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, I'll, I'll be right with you. And then I'm going to go back again and say, hey, man, let's get in there. You guys ready? So you ready. Um, go ahead and give me a perception check there, Rob. Okay. Perception coming up. All right. Um, so you hear the sound of footsteps um, approaching uh, the rock crevice where you were. Okay. I'm going to ready. It. Well, no. I, I, I'm going to just say they're coming, they're coming, and I'll point over there and get my whole party, like, Oh Christ! All right, and yeah, Moonglum, you uh, give me perception there, uh, Moonglum and and Fritz All and right. Claire. Yes, sir. Oh my guy is stupid. Awesome. I was gonna say stupid, but I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> um. So so Moonglum, um, you're standing in the corner, uh, looking at the wall. And but Claire and Fritz luckily turn you around and point you to the drow that is approaching uh, from behind y'all. Oh, I see him now. So they uh, they they come out um, and they 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 want to know what you're doing. State your business. Are they speaking English or are they speaking under common? Um, they speak under common at first. Um, does anybody speak uh, under common? I do now because I just cheated. <laughs> 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 oh, I didn't realize I had two language proficiencies, and I was like, "Well, what is this, the Matrix or something?" <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, just, I just learned under common. Uh, I don't That's speak right. under common. Um, so they uh. Yeah, they. Do you answer them back, uh, Fritz? Yeah, I'll tell them. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing down here to tell you the truth. Yeah, uh, we just got here. In this part of the playtest. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll be. I'm a, We're searching for um, some black cloak dude, or a way to kill him. I I don't remember off the top of my head. Ah, uh, so you were here for Halister Black Coat, uh, Black Cloak, and all of his riches. I see. Uh, I, I'm not much for his riches, but I might take his head. Well, why should we let you pass? What would you do for us? 
I'll say, oh, in common, can I ask my team about that before I make any promises? And uh, they they nod to you. All right. And uh, I'll continue speaking clearly. Uh, but they want us to give them something or do them a favor to let us pass without killing us or attempting to kill us. Ooh, what let's find think? out what the favor is. Yeah. They can, they can hear you. Oh, what's the favor you would like us to do, my good people? They... Uh kind of look at each other and and motion for y'all to uh, to come back and follow them. Okay, there's a... I, I saw some other ones in there. This might be a trick. And they they kind of... They relax their weapons a little bit. They they kind of slide their swords and stuff back down into their sheaths. They still, still kind of got a grip on them, but it's a rather loose grip. All right, okay. let's go. What do you think? Oh yeah, I'll move in. I ain't okay. scared. I ain't scared. I love how you say it. I love that. That's awesome. So a uh, a a female drow, um, clad in very nice uh, armor. You can definitely tell that uh, she is the one in charge. Um, says uh, so. I understand that y'all are looking for passage. We have a problem. You take care of this problem for us, and we will allow safe passage through this area. What kind of problem is this exactly? She kind of looks and... There is a Bahir that has taken up residence, that is feeding on troglodytes, trolls, and even, uh, even us. Take care of this Bahir, bring us its head, and we will allow safe passage. Uh, I'll ask her, I was like, what do you know about Bahirs? Because I know absolutely nothing. Bahirs? I thought she said bears. No, <laughs> Bahirs. <laughs> well, I know that they are extremely large. What type of creature is this? Hold on, he's being yelled at. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Sorry, uh, one of the kids walked in. Um, they describe it as a. Uh, I need a history check. Let's get a history check. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, it's bad, but I'll get to it. Skill check. So y'all know that this is what a behir looks like. Oh, oh. Man. I'll take one of those legs. Let's go. This is take cool. This thing out. Where is this Bahir? Where is it? Is it Bahir um, or is it Bahir? <laughs> Fuck. It's behind. <laughs> it's, it's over <laughs> <the> there. <laughs> it's a Bahir? What? What? Um, I'm looking to see. It's up at level ten. Yeah, it's a it's outside <laughs> of the scope of the adventure. Um, oh, okay, let's they tell <laughs> we, you, we do it. <laughs> it is um, in the southwest uh, corner of the of the cave system. All right, let's go. Uh, I'll offer my hand out first to the boss lady in a shake, as a respectful you have yourself a deal uh she she takes it in rather rather firm grip and she says um bring this back and you will have safe passage from the house of avrindar a-u-v-r-y-n-d-a-r sweet let's go all right shit. southwest all right, so basically, yeah, that's all that happens there. Um, they're standing there. They offer you safe passage if you go take care of this. Um, and if not, they uh, attack you. How rough is it a fight? 
Like compared um, to like the last time we did this, where there was no chance of us winning, even if you rolled badly as a DM. It's a CR six. Um, so I mean, it's it's not too terribly bad. It's six drow, a giant lizard. Uh, the only one that might give you some issues is the the uh, drow elite warrior. I feel like we could take them. <laughs> All right, so let me get rid of those guys real quick. So the, there's not a thing for us to actually go fight that thing, though? Wait, no, no, I was just joking. It's totally uh, here for you to go fight. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. All right, so uh, which way would you all like to go? Southwest, I think. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna go fight that fucking thing. All right, give me one second. All right, so as y'all come into this area, um, you see a bunch of these guys. Without the, uh, without the clubs, uh, you see a bunch of troglodytes. Uh, they are all chained together, um, and they appear to be uh, like mining um, and stuff like this. The the smell as you come into this area, just the smell of of sweat and and piss and just general stench. <laughs> Man, that's some bad thunder in the background. Um, I heard it. Just kind of like overwhelms you. I'm just gonna assume these are the drow houses slaves doing something for them. Yeah, they did mention that this thing's killing some of their their troglodytes. Like, so that, as y'all kind of move into there, they begin. Uh, they they see y'all. Uh, they begin to kind of uh, fall to their knees, um, and like bow to you and and begin to chant, um, almost as if they're worshiping you. Moon glow goes. Glum goes. Uh, we're just looking for the Bahir. Point us in the right direction. They uh they they kind of continue on um and Rob yes don't go anywhere oh no I'm about to monk shit up right here getting singled out you can be attacked by like seventeen of them monk is they a four letter us. word I wonder if there is a two e. Oh no! You see, um, a couple of drow um, come out, and uh, one of them uh, sees you and immediately puts his hand uh, on on his sword and says, "What? Where's the meaning of this? You you vermin, get back to work! Shut the hell up!" <laughs> I say, uh, "We have come for the Bahir." And don't uh, don't abuse the troglodytes. There, they recognize our heroic uh, stance. I I will stop him like while he's trying to say that with an elbow in the ribs. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Shh. Seriously. <laughs> Wait, aren't these the same kind of guys from the top that sent us down here? Well, you should ask him if they answered uh, Zil. Did he, yeah, what he said. Um, and you've slurred. You, I didn't understand. Zil, X I L L was her first name. I don't remember the last name though. Yeah, that's uh that's the house that they belong to. Are you from the are you from the house Avendar? Avendar? And they, they looked at you and say, Yes. What of it? Yeah, your your buddies up north there, they sent us down here to uh we have come for the be, be here. We've got to take care of it for you. They uh they kind of look at each other and and say, uh, all right, um, yeah, I, I think I can, uh, I, I think I believe you. That sounds like it's on the up and up. Do you know where the monster is? 
Uh, yes, yes, I know its lair is in the southwest corner, but but the damn thing has just been rampaging all over the place, uh, just just killing drow and and troglodytes and trolls. All right, well, if you point us to the way, we will take care of it for you, and perhaps you'd like to join us and help. You talk to a dwarf, give me basic tunnel directions, and I'll, I should be able to find it. Um, Leroy, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, give me Leroy. a perception, <laughs> Leroy. <laughs> I, like Le- I like Leroy better. <laughs> I got a I got a giant afro, and I and I DJ on the weekends. My name's Leroy. As long um, as it doesn't end with Jenkins. Uh, <laughs> um, give give me a perception. Perception, okay. Perception. Check. All right. Yeah, you do not notice um anything. <laughs> oh no. I'll uh I'll look around. Although I I run into walls occasionally. Does he does he see me? Wants to help us locate this monster um he does not really seem to give a rat's um ass about helping you um moon Glum, you're able to catch um back over there where the arrow is pointing there appears to be a drow kind of um and and fancy robes, kind of sitting down um, on like a makeshift little bench. Uh, you see some some younger troglodytes back there, um, and he's kind of got his foot on one of them and has a like a dagger in his hand, kind of picking at his finger. I kind of whisper that to everybody that's close to me. Say, hey, there's a dude over there with fancy robes. Uh, Got his foot on a troglodyte like he's uh, a king or something. Using him as a footstool. Uh, where? To the southwest, uh, against the back wall of this cave we're looking at. Oh, over there. Okay. Does he look like he's got his foot like holding him down or just uh resting on him like he's a a lower life form that he's using for um, tools? You can tell that this younger troglodyte is definitely trying to get up and he's holding his foot down to like keep him down. Uh-huh. Well, are we friends with the troglodytes? No. But they are also not our enemy. <laughs> So uh, I can assume he's abusing a, a troglodyte down there. So I don't know if that tweaks anybody's uh, or triggers anybody's uh, compassion. Hold on, um, let me check to see if I have any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me check and see what my compassion stat is. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with it. I'm a rogue. I just go, oh, whatever. They get him chained up over here. They got him under his foot over there. Uh, let's, where's this bit here? Yeah. I may be life cleric, but I know how drow work, and they're a bunch of assholes, like constantly, all day, every day. All right, I'm going to move a little closer, and I'm going to say, in a nice tone, I'm going to say, you must take it to the Bahir right now. Um, he, they say, well... We would, but we are, are guarding this uh, this this vermin here as they work for us. Um, we we don't we know that his lair is in the southwest corner, but we've recently seen him just out rampaging. So I imagine that uh, if if you make enough noise, he will eventually find you. You should make all the noise right here. Okay. So Moon Glum's gonna walk over this. Uh, area and go hello well but that's the southeast not the southwest well that other room has all drow in it so it's probably not in the southwest no but i'm thinking if you if you see the whole map 
is that is that I mean is that what he's telling us, Chris? Is that it's over way over to the left side of the map? Yeah, let me um let me get you the compass here. All right. Yeah, I was thinking he was saying it was rampaging around, so I was just checking close by. Yes. Okay. So southwest is way, and I guess since this room looks like it's blocked off, we should go this way. Yep. Okay. So I go up next to this troglodyte in the complete dark because I can't see. <laughs> I've got my stone out. Give me the stones, Dr. Jones. Yeah, head, let's head to the southwest as much as we can. Dude. All right, so you come to here. You have a Dude. path leading north and a path leading southwest. Southwest. Be here. I'm on a mission. Be here. I'm just mumbling be here to myself under my breath. Be here. Be <laughs> oh, God damn it. All right, well, we'll go where we can. This is one of those trick mazes where you have to go all the way up to, like, the northeast and then go back down. A letter. The little path that we ignored has like a tunnel coming underneath and goes <laughs> southwest. Yeah, it's like the labyrinth. If you go left, it takes you directly to the castle. If you go right, it takes forever. I don't think do, we do, should do, go do, to that little do, passage do, and see what happens. Do, 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 We're already like on a wander. All right. I like it. We must save the princess. All right, give me one second here. Uh-oh. I was just going to say, looks clear, everybody. Let's Nick, do it. Come back. Come back. Dude, these spells for the, the Wand of Orcus is pretty uh, pretty crazy. All right, so you to get to you get to there, Rob, and you see uh, two drow sitting atop two giant lizards. All right, and I say, I say, hail from the house of Avardar, Avandar, and and, the, and greetings and salutations. They um, sheath their weapons and and hail you back, and ask you what the what the hell are you doing over here? Oh, the hell we are looking for the monstrous Bendir Bendahar. Oh, fuck, I already forgot the goddamn name of the Bahir. thing. Bahir. Bahir, and <laughs> and uh, and we aim to uh, put it down. The uh, my group of. And then I turn around and I wave everybody. I go, get up here after <laughs> everybody. Uh, so they they inform you that it's layers in the southwest corner. Um, they are scouting this way to to keep an eye out for the other drow house uh, that is down here, um, House Akora. Are you friends with the House of Akora? They uh, both spit on the ground when they hear that, <laughs> uh, hear that sound. Yeah, yeah, neither are we. Good. I'm glad we agree. <laughs> and I spit on the ground. I went into him. I, I missed that. What did you say? Yeah, what was that? Until we ran into Sakura. Yeah, they they look uh, look to you, Rob, and be like, uh, "Is there something wrong with your your friend? Is he a clockwork or something?" He is a uh, he he has a mononucleosis. <laughs> You're going on low body there, you're off. Can't talk for very long. Yeah. I'll get in. Yeah, you're you're off. Your voice is all robotic. I am back. Yes, you right. are. So, uh, all right, gentlemen, we are going to pass you by and go 
take dispatch of this uh, vicious creature in the name of House Avendar. They uh, wish you guys speed and a safe journey. All right, southwest we go. You hear uh, one of them mutter as uh, as y'all walk by, yeah, I'm pretty sure that their stuff will fit us. We'll just wait for the thing to kill them. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I, I don't like their attitude. All right. Can I hear anything in front of us? Um, give me a perception check. All right, I can do that. Perception. There's a lot of per skills on the sheet. Perception, performance, persuasion. You hear the sound of just um, deafening silence. All right. It's got to be asleep. Let's go, everybody. Also, keep an eye behind us for when it comes back and sneaks up on us. Correct. Okay. Is that big over there? Is it what? The here dung? Gat to the here? All right, so as y'all approach into this area, you see this, you get the smell of just mustiness, damp, um, damp badissi, um, and you see, what's that? I'm just laughing at damp uh, badissi. <laughs> badissi is the best word to describe that. Um <laughs> And the floor is just completely littered uh, with broken bones. Um, and your feet begin to crunch as you walk into this area. Looks All right, like well, I'm going to pull my sword out. And I'm not using a euphemism. That's good. I'm going to pull it out. And that is a euphemism. <laughs> Your voice is still a little wonky, Yurash. Jump out of uh, this. Rob, do you? Rob, you were in the military, weren't you? Oh uh, yeah. Did you ever work in there, any areas that had a uh, white noise? Uh, what kind of white noise? Like, um, just secure stuff, like out in the hallways, white noise, uh, some. No. Like outside of skiffs and stuff? No, like just playing like feedback through speakers and stuff? Yeah. No, I, I didn't. Uh, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> it might have been a secret government. I was uh, working in this place um, yesterday, and it's a six-story building. They've got white noise on every floor. Well, this one floor there, uh, white noise um, yesterday was Duran Duran instead of the actual like <laughs> noise. <laughs> Are you allowed to talk about this? Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, let's see here. All right, so yeah, y'all don't see anything yet because you haven't came around the corner. Rob, you see um, sharp-pointed stalagmites and stalactites in this 40-foot-high cave. Um, it almost looks like um, teeth. Um uh, coming from the, the ceiling and the floor. Um, you see bats kind of fluttering back and forth. Um, you see light flashes, um, almost as if the it is lightning inside of the cave coming from that direction. This better not be one of those goddamn Empire Strikes Back thing where this cave is an actual mouth and it just crunches us up right now. I'm a little nervous. But I am going to proceed forward anyway toward the lightning. I will join him.
Well, wait, don't we want to go south instead? Well, I'm, 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 I'm trying to do, I'm trying to go, do you mean because of the bones and stuff? Yeah. Oh, we can. I just, and I had it in my head to go as southwest on the map as I could. That's what I was just had in my head. But we could go but down there. But the bones means like, you know, it's the food trail. They also warned us about another house, right? So. That's true. Uh, I'm good with going either way, whatever you guys want to do. Death number one yeah. is just as fun as death number two. <laughs> it feels like we're in the very south corner, in the, so we're probably in the swinity. Why is how, how come he's the only one that has a voice thing? Is that just your internet connection, Yurash? B, huh? Let me actually close uh, Discord. All right, a little further. And What's the range on uh, the light spell? 20 and then another 20? 20, 40, or yeah, 20, yeah, exactly. All right, so, so Rob, you see coming from that direction like flashes of lightning all right just like i mean it's i mean you've 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 been outside when it's lightning um at night like the, it just like lights up and then and then goes dark okay i'm still somehow interested in this down here I want to see if I can see any more of that. Well, but I, I, I can see up to four more squares or whatever. Hmm? And it's, uh, it's more of the same, uh, more bones, more stalactites, more stalagmites. Um, you do see a drow. Um, Asking for directions. <laughs> That is uh, leaned up against um, a stalagmite, and its body is halfway eaten. Uh, its chest is caved in. Um, where get you know what? Give me. You Wait, a medis. Go ahead. Is his mouth still there? The drow. Yeah. Um. Yes, it is. Wand of Orcus, speak with the dead. Um, also, give me a. Uh, you can use that, or you can give me a medicine check. You got a pretty mouth. Um, so, Claire, you recognize that something extremely heavy stepped on this thing's chest, caved it in, and caused its eyeballs to pop out of their sockets. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I think we should talk to him and find out what happened. I think or it's pretty clear what happened. That thing st stomped on him and pressurized the inside of his body and popped his eyes out. Well, what if it wasn't the Bahir? What if it was something else? Well, that, that could that's, be. That's right. Could... We're level 11, bitch. <laughs> If you want to talk to him, if you want to waste one of the charges, do it. Let's hear it. Okay, hold on. Let me just clarify. Am I attuned with this weapon or not? Um, I would assume so, yes. Okay, then no, it actually won't waste any charges. Mm. Yeah, there's like some crazy broken shit with this. I'm like, oh, crap. Like, uh, later I can just call a, an army of uh, skeletons worth uh, 500 hit points. 
It's still not as crazy as that freaking sword. I have Rob. That is the craziest sword I've ever seen. That sword, that sword of sharpness, is pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, okay. So yeah, let's ask him. What do we ask him? Five questions. Yeah, up to five questions. Yeah, ask him what killed him. He uh, informs you that it was the Bahir. Which direction was he going? Um, he, <laughs> he says, I, I am not sure as when I got, to, when he came this direction <laughs> and then stepped on me, I died and do not know where he went after that. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'll hand him back one of his eyeballs. <laughs> uh... Here's your eyes, sir. Uh, how? Uh, what, what? What else are we asking? We got three more questions. Did you before he ask him if before he was killed if he knew about any weaknesses? Does the here have any weaknesses? None that they were able to find. Oh, wait, uh, we should ask what group he's with, right? Because there's two different groups down here. Is that what you asked him? Yeah. Um, he says that the adventure does not specify. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's with, go back uh, to being dead. He's with House of Korra. Not anymore. <laughs> Um, what else do we need to know? Do we need to know anything else? We just gotta find this thing and try and kill it. The yeah weakness thing was a good idea, though. We we can say to this guy, "May your journey be safe to the other side." Say hi to Elvis, and then. Onward and upward. Try to find this thing. Yeah. Oh, wow. She just went right up there. There's nothing else here. She's going to do a little face pull. All right. Um, Fury. Um, hello oh, okay. There. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you're a human. I'm drunk. That's uh, right. Let's see here. Uh, you get to there and you see a giant flash of like lightning almost in front of you as you see this giant beast um, eating something um, just out of and then when the uh, when the lightning subsides it uh, disappears from view. Oh oh man, I wish I could be sneaky, but yeah, that's not gonna happen. Well, we have to kill this thing, so let's do it. Well, okay. So it's probably real close by. Should I go ahead and call the undead? I don't know how many s skeletons can we get with the, um, well, skeleton zombies with uh, 500 hit points total. Probably like 40. Um, what is what spell is that? Animate dead. No, it's a thing called Call Undead. While you're holding the wand, you can use an action to conjure skeletons and zombies, calling forth as many of them as you can. Divide 500 hit points among each undead having average hit points. See the monster manual. The undead magically rise up from the ground or otherwise form in occupied spaces within 300 feet of you and obey your commands until they are destroyed or until dawn of the next day. Fuck. That is fucked up. And then once I use this property of the wand, I cannot use it again until the next dawn. What about um? What about one zombie with five hundred hit points? <laughs> <laughs> or even five zombies with one hundred hit points each? Yeah, but I don't think you can do that. Um, let's see here. Give me one second. 
So there are detrimental, pro let me read this real quick. Oh, <laughs> um, Claire, I totally yeah. missed this. Um, so you have to obviously try to attune the wand, obviously. Um, so you need to make a constitution saving throw. So let's uh let's have you do that and see if you succeed. Out of the open or in the tower? Um, you can do it in the open. You're trying to beat a seventeen. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also gonna cast guidance on myself. Hold on. Yeah, what you can... are. What else can I do? Uh, you don't have we don't have inspiration, do we? No, you have to kill a man's only child to get inspiration on this. A man's only child. Yeah, guidance, and that's probably all you can do. Oh, does any... We don't have any bards. You might have one, depending on how this roll goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, can it change our alignment or, or our class? That kills her. Yeah, it's like instant death. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Through. Are you kidding me? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I'm thinking right. there's anything they can do for constitution. So, yeah, I'll I'll give you the choice. Do you do you want to attune it or do you not want to attune? <laughs> I want to attune it so that way I don't have to okay. use as many uh charges. And if I'm you just fail, double checking if you don't get a 17, you you die. Yeah. Uh, hold on. What's oh, the exact Jesus, wording? Man. What kind of fucking wand is this? It's the wand. Okay. okay, so it's a DC 17 constitution saving. On success, successful save, I'm going to take 10d6 necrotic damage. On a failed save, the creature dies and rises as a zombie, so you get to kill me. Oh. Yeah. It's going to be fun. It'll be great. Let's do this. Okay, so why does guidance not give me that extra D four? It should. I didn't do the the coded one. Oh well. Oh. I'm sorry. What kind of bullshit is that? I'll roll a D four, and we'll just add it manually. You can just roll your save, and if it's, you know, below 13, you can forget it. Oh! Oh, oh man. There. Holy <laughs> shit. All right, so give oh, you that uh, 10d6 necrotic damage. That's it. Awesome. Damage. Totally oh, worth it. Here. Totally worth it. So it looks like there's detrimental properties um, that I rolled up. Claire, you don't um, have any you. effects on your character at all? Like permanent effects? Like no, any resistances or nothing, huh? No, I'm a boring little human. <laughs> All right, so Claire, in your notes... Um... Adamantine chainmail armor. Yeah. Yeah, that's me, though. Because I'm mm -hmm. on that. Ad immune to critical. Hell yeah. Okay. How, All did, right. I, how did I die first session, first time? I opened a fucking door and got crit in the throat? Yeah. <laughs> well, you still take damage. You just don't take the critical damage. All right, let's... All right, so let's see here. Claire, I just put the detrimental properties of the wand. No problem. That's the, the random properties table that I could open, right? Yeah. Um, so let's see here. Calling forth as many of them as you can. Divide 500 hit points among each. Um... Zombies have like 22 hit points or something. 
So you're gonna get like 25, 20, you know, 21 or 22 zombies, something like that. That's uh, I don't. I say don't do that till we see the whites of its eyes, or in fact, whatever color eyes this thing has. If it has eyes. I almost see here. Moonglum is there. Moonglum, you have dark vision. No, you do not. You're human as well. Uh, stone of. I'm the only one that has dark vision. And you're back around the corner. All right. So yeah, what do y'all? What do you want to do? A uh, light source up here. Uh, go, yeah, yeah. Go north, I think. I'll move up into the cave. All right, so so Fritz, you move up. Um, Rob, how do you pronounce your character's name? Uh, Luro, just like it's spelled. Luro, okay. I keep wanting to say Leroy. Um, (laughs) Leroy. You can call me Leroy. So so you move up. Uh, Fritz, you move up. Um, Right as y'all do, you see another... um, Lightning flash, and this thing is looking uh, directly at you. And everybody, roll initiative. But here, I didn't go through my sad initiative. (laughs) <laughs> Fuck. What's that rolling for? Oh, my. I'm... Yeah, that's weird. Uh, Claire, yours didn't show up either. Oh, because it was a zero? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah just... <laughs> that is a one. Uh, that is rough. All right, we'll put you at a one. Um, Moon Glum, you want to try it again? And the dice and the no, I tried just rolling the d Don't nothing. Uh, I I did it for you. If that was all right, you got a fourteen. And then a plus five. Your What's voice that? is still jacked, by the way. A plus five, man. Yeah, your voice is cutting out real bad. Do you want to reboot real quick before we get into this? I'll do that. I'm going to take that opportunity to go for a quick cigarette. I'll be right back. Sounds good. He's a dirty smoker. Take a look at my iPad while we wait here for a minute. Do do do. So, Rob, what level is uh, yours, like, PC level? 15. Uh, The adventure, I think, is goes to level 20, and, and there's 23 levels of the dungeon, so I think by the time they get down to the 23rd level, they'll hit 20th level. Oh, yeah, so you got Cavern almost... of Ooze. Is that yours? Which one? Yeah, the ooze. Yeah. Yeah, caverns of ooze. Oh, does it? How did you know that? 
um, page 11 in it, um, or 10 and 11, it lists all the levels and what character level they, they are. Oh, I must have missed that. Yeah, it looks like there's 23 levels in this dungeon. Yeah, 23 levels, and it looks like it's going to be awesome. And I, I was reading a thing, not not part of the playtest, but I was just reading it like on a website or something. What they did was, you know, it's under mountain, so it's huge. And what they did was they gave these levels, and then they say the DM can make side levels of their own making and then add it to the make it like almost as big as they want. Pretty cool. And it actually here yeah, I'll you look on the bottom right side of the map, you see where they actually have that noted. Oh, is that right? Yeah, tunnel leads to expanded dungeon. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. That's a great idea. And then there's one at the the top left as well. Yeah, what I like about that is that you don't have to do it. You can, but you don't have to. Because as you know, I'm lazy and I'll just be playing <laughs> the regular game. But you know, uh, Lord Entrails has is making a whole Undermountain thing for the DMs Guild. So he'll have extra levels if people want. Yes, everybody who's watching this months later. By the way, this playtest was recorded on July 19th, 2018, so you won't be seeing this anytime before November. Uh, but I'm playing, during this little break, I'm playing a Family Guy, <laughs> my Family Guy Quest for Step app on my iPad. Which is the music you it's hear? It's like my internet's freezing. Your oh, your internet's freezing. Yeah, I did. Five meg. <laughs> All I heard was five meg. Are you at home? You there, Yurash? Man, fuck that guy. <laughs> oh, holy. <laughs> I say that. Anytime somebody leaves the chat, I'm like, what a dick. Hey, he's still, that's weird, he's still here. Yurash, can you hear us? Wave your hands if you can hear us. <laughs> yeah. Do 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 da 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 ski dee 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 Does anybody have his telephone uh a number? I do. Um you shoot him a text or something? Oh there he goes, he just dropped out. Soon are you gonna text him? Yes, sir. I sent him, uh, what's the word? Okay. Oh, so yeah, I will, um, need to tell you all about what happened. Let me 
turn off the sound real quick so this isn't recorded. Oh, so, wait, let, let me, hold on, let me mute in just a second. Yeah, me as well, because... Um, I told her that that was just some elaborate ploy to try to get on the walking dead <laughs> <laughs> and, um, that if she wanted us to come visit her, she didn't have to go through such extreme. <laughs> she could just ask. You to come <laughs> yeah. Cause I've been dead three times. Yeah. And one here... of them was like right after the stream. <laughs> well, no, no, I didn't die then. Uh, you mean like last May when Doug put me in the hospital? Um, yeah. No, no, I didn't die, but I did die three times in, in, uh, 2013 before my liver transplant it wasn't, it wasn't because of my liver transplant it was something else, but, uh, I'm here to tell you there's no light. There's no nothing. You just die. That's it. It's over. But in my case, they wake you back up. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they, they work, uh, they work her back up. Um, and I was working in that building at the time, so like cell signal was spotty, and they finally got a hold of me. And yeah, I, I was a nervous wreck until they called me and said, "Yeah, everything's good." Um, and then I talked to her like an hour later on the phone. How old is she? I have no idea. Um, what? Oh my god! Who doesn't know how old their mother is? I fucking 60-ish. love that. Sixty-ish. I love it. I love when people don't know how old their parents are. That's so funny. To my me. mom is still thirty-one. I'm just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forever 39, or she'll kill you if you say otherwise. And That's then when right. you pass her age, then nobody understands how it works. Yeah, she's my mom, but she's younger than me. Yes. We're from Alabama. <laughs> All right, I spot um, my modem, and I'm at uh, speed now. The other one must have kaputs. All right, I have three of them here. Yeah, it's still a little sketchy. Yeah, it's still doing it. But we can make do. Yeah, well, we'll uh, we'll work it out. Um, all right, uh, Yurash, you said you rolled a five initiative. Was that correct? I had a fourteen plus five. Uh, I have a plus five on my initiative. Okay, fourteen plus five. All right, so a nineteen. That's huge. Jesus Christ. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> she said that's huge. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right so what was her name mary magdalene <laughs> moonglum you're up first what would you like to do i will uh get on the table here in a second uh 
How far away from me is the uh, creature? Um, it is... 40? 35? 40 feet. All right, I can only 30, so... Um, I will sheath my spear on my hand crossbow and fire a crossbow bolt at it. All right. If you are watching this video in November 2018, we now have the technology. We are playing with one DM, three players, and one robot. <laughs> Did you fire yet, uh, Yurash? He's not on the table. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, you're still connected. Okay. Oh, okay. You want me to fire, or do you want to do it? Fire right away. No, fire. All right, so your hand crossbow. Sure. And you missed. Went, went. <laughs> the first went, went of the day. All right. Did you want to move anywhere or stay put? Uh, I'll stay put if I'm in a relatively safe position. Um, yeah, you are. You, uh, Rob's in front of you, so yeah, you're safe. <laughs> All right. Uh, Fritz? All right. Um, can you lock tokens, please, sir? Absolutely. I move up to here and reach out and touch my friend. Special powers. Yeah, shield of faith. Actually, I'm sorry. Hang on, uh, Fritz. Move back to where you were. I wasn't paying attention. Forgot to do something. Ah, crap. Um, at the action. end of Moonglum's turn, um, this thing will misty step. Fucking right, a. Right, <laughs> right, Fritz, oh. now you may go. All right. Um, I'd like to take both of those effects off. Uh, <laughs> I got it. Okay. Uh, I love that fancy runs update that shit. Right? I'm going to move to there. No, I can't. That's a lie. Uh, you got 25. Are we doing flanking? Uh, yes. All right. All right, so you moved to there. Um, you've got a stalagmite uh, between the two of you. Oh. What's the one from the ceiling? Uh, stalagtite. Right. All right, so you have a stalagtite. So if I um, would have went to there, it would have been clear? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm you're, going you're for an attack. I'm not going for anything else here. Okay. I'm just trying to find it. What the fuck do I do with it here? Oh, yeah, wait. First, I want a spiritual weapon, please, sir. Alrighty. Where would you like it at? Fantastic. Yeah, I got a cow, and it's going to attack immediately because it can. It's a cow. Yeah. And since I cast a spell, I just can attack it manually. That's all. All right. And that will be my turn, sir. All right. Uh, let's see here. So this thing at the end of your turn is going to do a legendary action. And cast sleep on you uh, there, uh, Fritz. Okay. Better roll five the eight. 21, nothing happens. Yeah, that's kind of goofy that this thing has the sleep spell. Um, because even if it rolled max, that would be was it 5d8? That'd be 40 hit points. Yeah, I have what's the chances of a level 11 PC having 40 hit points? 
But doesn't it, can it cast sleep at higher, higher levels? No, it is, um, it's a layer action or legendary action. Oh. For this guy. Um, all right, so this guy is going to throw out some lightning breath. Um, 10, 15, 20. Um, so it uh, exhales it straight down, first at Leroy, um, then at Claire, and it stops just at your feet there, Moonglum. All right. Uh, Claire failed. Le- uh, Leroy succeeded. For 71 points of damage, Claire is down. What the hell? I didn't heal myself after the thing. Oh my god. How did you not take any damage uh, there, Rob? Evasion? I need to read up on that skill. That's pretty nice. It is a uh, dex based. Saving throw, I I always take half, and if I succeed, I take nothing. Yeah, it's a good one. Rogues have it, good. and monks have it. Okay. Right. Uh, Rob, you're up. All right, I'm going to shimmy around this stalag douche and get on to the other side over there, wherever I can be that I can attack with advantage. And I am going to do a stunning strike on this guy. So I do the damage, and then he has to pass a saving throw, and I believe my saving throw is wrong. Uh, Coded that shit. Well, what I, I, I it's coded right. I just don't have the right ability chosen. But I don't know my my monks. Is it fucking Dex? I guess. When you hit another creature, you can't. You can spend a key point to attempt a stunning strike. The target must succeed on a Constitution saving throw. But what is what is a monk's? You know, DC. Is it a fucking? Oh, it's wisdom. Okay, fuck. All right, hold on. Everybody, calm down. It's like that's okay. just it right in the class. There we go. It it does. Yeah, it is wisdom. Okay, I fixed yeah, it. Okay, wisdom. so he's gonna do he's gonna do his wisdom saving throw. So hold on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, fuck. He passed. Well, yeah, that sucks. Too. I would have stunned him. All right, now I'm gonna do my bonus action. You know, my other monks get a fucking thing where they can do some other different attack with their hand or something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, unarmed strike. Yeah, unarmed strike. Now here's the thing: can I do? Uh, can I try that? You know, it cost me key points to do that stunning strike thing, but I can do that again. It doesn't matter. I can just spend as many key points as I want, right? So I'm gonna try that again. All right. So here's my offhand attack. I never played a monk. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now I'm going to do that stunning strike again. Come on, do it. Fail it. Oh, snap. He's fucking stunned, everybody. So you... Unless, you unless he's immune to stun. Stunning. Yeah. <laughs> unless. Unless then we all shit. So he is stunned, and Claire is unconscious because she had to wand it somehow. Oh, I didn't even do my la- my next attack with this fucking advantage. I forgot. Player succeeded. Uh, Moonglum, you're up. All right, pulling up the map. I will move up to the the monster, which I can't see yet. Oh, there he is. Okay. And I will attack him two times with my rapiers. How are you getting around there? I I see it now. Sorry. 
Can we remove? I will he he go moved this without way. seeing the map. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll move to that spot there. And let's take a swing with the east. The mess. I'm going to use uh, <laughs> combat uh, superiority precision attack and roll one of those to see if I can add on to that to get a hit. Nice. I will say, uh, yes, you can. If you roll a one or above. <laughs> well, but you don't you have yeah, to. Five. I mean, the way the way that works is you gotta you gotta. It put says that uh, before or after. Yeah, yeah, but, but I'm, I'm I'm not talking about the power itself. I'm just talking about how to use that coding. That coding doesn't do you any good unless you apply it first. Gotcha. It should be on your character. You mean? Yeah, it in should be in the tracker. combat tracker before you roll. But you can do it after. But then the coding doesn't help you, you, you know, because it doesn't. Gotcha. Doesn't roll a die for Take you. Take a does is... swing at this guy. There's nine damage. And, uh, my set offhand. That's a crit. Oh shit! It is. Let's see, I don't have weapon. All right. Did it proc the table? Oh, we're not using it. it. And I okay. have an action surge on it right here. <laughs> Fucking A, I love it. Do it again. And, uh... All right. Oh, you know what? On the earlier, I had this uh, sword. I'll do it next time. It's nine life stealer. Hit something steal its life um if it it has to do a save a dc 15 or better save but i'll do that next time since i forgot all right uh and uh, go ahead i'm sorry yeah that was an action surge i only i don't get another bonus attack so that will do it why can't you do the the life surge thing right now because it was an earlier hit and i forgot that i had that on this character yeah, but is it is it oh is it your first hit or something? The, whenever you critically hit something, uh, you can attempt to steal its life and slay it outright. Oh wow! Okay. It what's has to roll name? a what's nine the, live uh, stealer. This happened the last time we did a play test. Somebody typed something in my Twitch chat, but we're not streaming, so it's like, what are you talking about? Why? <laughs> but there's people watching the reruns, and they just type shit in there. Why are you watching your stream? I, I'm not watching has, it. I just have my if thing open. If it has open fewer than 100 hit points. Um, so let's hear. Give me one second. So what How do you saying, reverse heal? Is it control uh, uh, drag or shift drag? I want to say it's shift. No, so control. like like I said, it's control. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, you're Rosh. I will. I'll give you the choice. Um. Let's see here. If it has fewer than 100 hit points, um, which it does at the moment, um, so it needs to constitution saving throw. Yep. And it succeeded. Okay. Then it doesn't get Let's slain. Me put the damage back on it. And that'll be my turn. All right. You only have one party member down, right? Yep. Correct. Yes. Okay. Healing word. Word. That's right. 
That's the worst healing spell there is. And it still heals for 11. Oh, and that's a bonus action. Yes, so, it is. I'm going to swing away because using my spiritual weapon to swing away is my bonus action. But, yes, but you already did healing word. Yes, but that's why I'm going to swing away. Oh, I see what you're myself. saying. I misunderstood what your statement was because I might be high oh. and drunk. And an idiot. I'm I, a little I'm... bit of a dumb guy. <laughs> <laughs> no. And By the way, everybody one... that's watching this in November, I hope you are anxiously awaiting your copies of Rob Tui's Kickstarter that you should have already backed by now. Hello. It should already have been backed. There's 10 backers. And that'll be my turn, sir. All right. Um, then nothing happens there. All right, uh, Leroy. Okay, I am. He is not going to be stunned anymore, so we better stun him again. I'm going to do my attacks. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck. All right, I'll do the next one. That time I hit him. I spend a key point. Stunning strike! And he succeeds. Uh-oh, we might be in trouble. Uh, but at least uh, Claire's awake. Yeah. Right at the end of uh, Leroy's turn. Oh, God. Misty step. <laughs> misty step. Holy Over there. Christ. All right, Claire. Um, did, we, did we find out whether or not he has uh, 100 hit points or not? He does not. So he has fewer? Yes. Fucking kill this bastard. Power <laughs> word kill. Oh, nice. I think that's just automatic. Yeah, pretty much. Power word. Um... I think it's if it's a less than 100 hit points, it just One. dies. Yeah. Um... So it says, um, Claire, that you um, you utter a word of power that compels it. So how would you compel this thing to die? <laughs> Orcus wants your soul. That's good enough. All right, so it dies. Yay. Power word kill. Oh, I should not have cleared all effects. I apologize for that. That was the wrong button. <laughs> Control Z. Oh, that doesn't work. Yeah, uh, it doesn't uh, work. I need to come up with a Fantasy Grounds tip in the next couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell your players to know what the fuck they're doing and stop relying on code so they can put their own fucking facts back on. Um, all right, so what is what was y'all's thoughts on that? I think if um, y'all wouldn't have had those magic items, that this would have went a whole lot differently. Oh, yeah. I, I well, I, I did. I stunned him with just my regular monk powers. That you did, yes. And that also prevented him from doing um, legendary actions, so that helped. But, yeah, I could see this would have been a really tough encounter had we not had those... Specific helps. Um, also, it would have helped if our main or our main cleric there wasn't like ninety percent dead before that fight happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was uh, that was unfortunate. A series of unfortunate events, if you if you would please. All right, now we can chop off a piece of this thing's body and bring it back to the. Drow it's over there. Head specifically. Oh, did they, that say they asked for us to do that? Yeah, they wanted its head. Okay, yep. Oh, let's okay. cut it up. Let's so cut do up you its continue head. to explore back in its little cave here? Yes. Oh, certainly. Hell yeah. We want to neat. We oh, have to well, go back I'm there and get the 12 her. healing potions in a chest back there so that Claire can drink them all. 
<laughs> All right, so let's see here. You find um, a a hoard of uh, of the Dragon Queen of Treasure. Um, there's six thousand gold, four thousand silver, um, a brooch, some uh, leather slippers with jewelry in them, a music box, dust of disappearance. Um, let me grab that and drop that into the party sheet. And, um, a dread helm, which is, has a kind of a cool effect. I wonder, that must be off of one of the new books. It is, it's in uh, Xanthar's. So the Dread Helm, um, if you put it on, your eyes glow red. That's it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. It it's more of a thing worth money, but it's got that cool effect. It's more intimidatory. Is that a word? It's not even worth money. Five hundred. Fifty to, to hundred. Fifty to yeah. hundred gold. It just makes you look real cool. Hey man, so when you're at the brothel, you twenty-five wanna... gold goes a long way. <laughs> that's right. Blumpkin. Clam sandwiches. Clam sandwich. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, yeah, we're going to chop off the head and go give it, deliver it to the drow. All right, do you take the same path? Do you deviate? How do you get back there? I say we retrace our steps just to be able to accomplish that. Agreed. All right, um, you do so. Um, They grant you safe passage. Nice. Um, and now they ask that you leave the area immediately. Oh. They point us in a direction where we should leave the area? Um, they ask if you... They prefer that if you go that you go back the way that you came, but um So we just need to leave area one or what it, particular area? You need to define the area. Here's here's a and it it doesn't really this I can't elaborate more on it because it um it isn't covered in this. I don't know basically there's a, a house of um drow above you. On ten, it looks like, and a house of draw below you on level twelve. Which let me just reveal that so you can kind of see what's going on. There you go. There's the on the left side of the map. You'll see down to level twelve. Um, so there's a house of. Uh, it looks like there's a house of draw above you, a house of draw below you, and they're kind of. One is sending troops down, the other is sending troops down, and this area is just kind of in the middle of them fighting each other. So it's a war zone. Yeah, it's a war zone. Um, I would imagine that they, without knowing, I would presume that their house is maybe the floor is level 10, but I don't know that to be for certain. So for the sake of the adventure, we're going to say that they're going to tell you that you need to go down to level 12. All right. We shall do so. Do you retrace your steps or do you take a different route? We're going to go to, I think, this way, yeah? I don't know. Yeah. We'll go that way. More adventure. All right. Claire, I was actually fixing to ask you if uh, 
if, yeah, if you well, wanted to heal at all. Yeah, I, I thought it might be safe to do that. Are you going to... Yeah, I like it. Yeah, oh, I can only right. do half. Your mind. You can only do half. What do you mean? It can only uh, restore a creature to more than half its hit points maximum. What? That's lame. Oh, that's some special thing you have. Yeah, yeah for town. Well, then I don't want to use that. Uh, that's just for like dire emergencies. Yeah. Let's see what else I can cast on myself. All right. So, which way do y'all want to go? To the northwest. To Alaska. Like there, northwest? Well, uh, that way, yeah. All right, so Fritz goes sprinting off running. <laughs> Fritz, um, wait! <laughs> wait, Fritz. Claire is in the so middle of the rock. So y'all get yeah, to there. Um, there, you see more stalactites, stalagmites. Um, you see um, a bunch of troll limbs scattered everywhere. Um, a head uh, that is a troll head that is lying in a pool of blood. Um, and you see bloody claw marks on the ceiling um, that exit out towards the direction of the Behir's lair. Whoa. He, we I'm already killed that, him. I'm assuming that Claire's healing got fucked up somehow because she used to have a lot of hit points. Now she only has 11. Yeah, did you reverse something, Claire? Yeah, because I didn't want to use that uh, Divinity thing because it can only oh, okay. uh, go up to half. I need to get more than half. I'm still trying to figure out. I have so many spells, so many stupid spells. Oh, oh so you you did have 80 damage before you did yeah, anything? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. Um, bones, huh? What do you think? And you like it? blood and claw marks on the roof. The drow did say the uh, here was killing trolls and troglodytes, so it's probably the remnants of his uh, feasting up here on trolls. That's a guess, though. It's a guess. Uh, the uh, gungala gunga. It's a guess. <laughs> so I got so that I got, going for me. Yeah, so I got that going for me. I got that going for me. The Dalai Lama. He's about to stiff me. <laughs> and I said, uh, hey, uh. How about a little something for the effort? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. Oh, there How about no a money. little something for the effort? But on your deathbed, you will have... Total consciousness. <laughs> that's unbelievable. I can remember all that. I forgot about how about a little something for the effort. <laughs> Amazing. Funny fact, I heard that that entire scene was improvised. Yeah, he just did it right then. Chevy Chase and Bill Murray actually fucking hated each other, but they have one scene in the movie together. Um, Let's venture into the bone area. Said my prom date. Thank you. <laughs> if, you if, if you look at the hallway where the bulge is in the middle, again... More de more jokes. There's like three darker, bigger. It looks kind of like a face to me. Uh, okay, with trepidation, I advance forward, hoping that my party members have my back. I will join him. I get re-step the way. Oh, you did the heal spell for seventy points. I like it. Yep, and then I got an additional eight points too because of uh, whatever ability. Life, Life cleric. cleric. Yep. All right, let's do more and see if we get eaten. So 
waiting for y'all to move. All right. Um, uh, Rob, give me a, and Claire and Fritz, give me, and everybody, give me a perception <laughs> check. <laughs> and everyone. And everyone. Perception. Um, so y'all make out the sounds of fighting, um, in front of you and, um, curses in a language that you cannot understand. So you Not sure we can't understand? Yep. I'm, unless you have comprehend languages, I'm sure that you do not understand it. Okay, because the wand could apparently can comprehend a language. I mean, it it knows like abysmal. Yeah, it's not uh it's not abyssal. Okay. I have a uh, elvish that in common. It's not either one of those. I was actually just looking to see if uh, Fantagrams had it listed in the language section, but they do not. You can add it. And oh, in the blank spot or something? No, if you go to uh, if you go to options, the options menu, on the bottom left of the options menu is languages, and you may oh, add there. a new language in there. As a DM, of course, players can't do it. Boo! And then you can, oh, boo! <laughs> fucking locked out players. And then if you add a new language, you can then choose the font on the right hand side but it, it'll just be one of the fonts from something else like dwarvish or whatever it doesn't really matter there's only like six of them but that's pretty cool huh you can add a language uh as a matter of fact oh uh, hello add a language is a tip i'm gonna write down in my spreadsheet right now because who knows about that no one except for you apparently add languages All right, so that is uh, what you hear. Nice. Oh, I've heard that before. <laughs> Flagging Slaubenbenden. Yeah. What, That's coming from your mother's mama. bedroom? <laughs> Hello. Ooh, it was the mama joke. First mama joke. Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> you don't know my mama. All right, we heard that. Can you point where that is coming from, Mr. DM? Uh, Mr. DM, could you point where that's coming from? Okay, right over there. I'm going to go see if I can see anything. Just some fucking arrow comes out. Oops. I think I found it. You see a giant five on the floor. (laughs) Oh, man. We're going in the right direction. Somebody wrote a number. It's a, it's a, it's a mal-shaped S. And then this right here is just a Christmas stocking <laughs> hanging on the mantle. I see shapes. And I make up little stories to entertain myself. And then I share those stories with other people who are summarily bored and mystified by my stupidity. All right, let's get closer. Well, neither bored or mystified by your stupidity. <laughs> you like it. You like my <laughs> stupidity. Look, everybody, the shadows make a little alcove here where the number five is just automatically. Oh, no. Um, so coming into here, uh, the ceiling of the cavern uh, varies in height from 15 to 30 feet. Um, you see, uh, you begin to see troglodyte corpses on the ground. Again, more and, dead bodies. Uh, Rob, the sound of fighting is definitely closer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and Fritz, you see, um, but nobody else because they don't have dark vision. That was almost bad.
you see a five armed troll Fritz fighting, uh, fighting, fighting six troglodytes. I will whisper those exact words to my uh, teammates. There's a five armed troll <laughs> fighting six troglodytes. <laughs> Oh, well, it's outnumbered. It needs one more arm. Let's help the troll. Uh, <laughs> what do we do? Well, as a general rule, you try and kill trolls, but that's true. What if we just started betting money to see who will win? Well, I, who's got odds? What's my odds? <laughs> What's the odds? Like, yeah, two to one on the six on the seven. Um. Well, Moonglum, are you going to move up there? We can move closer and see who responds. I don't know. Can we tell? I'm going to um, move slightly closer. Can I tell? Is there any I mean, way for me to discern who the good guy is, is what I'm trying to go for here, but I don't, I don't know if that's possible. Um. Yeah, you, you can't really tell. They... They don't seem to be paying attention to you. They are um, just uh, engrossed in battle at the moment. Right. Okay. What do you guys think? I think we kill them all. Circle Start. of death? Yeah. You you do notice um, that while the troglodytes are fighting the troll, um, they don't seem to be making any headway, any... Any blows they land, um, the damage does not seem to have any kind of effect. So we should definitely kill the troll. So I would like to cast Circle of Death from the wand. All right. I can't wait to use up all these charges. It's going to be so much fun. And I would uh, like to cast Insect Plague while she does Um... Oh, you guys might want to back up. A 60. Oh, it's instant. I'm locking tokens. Are you going <laughs> to wait until they get out of the way? <laughs> I'll wait for them to get out of the way. Okay. Uh, whoa. Okay, I get out of the way. Whoa, yeah. Holy shit. I Adamantine, you, you better get the hell out of the way. <laughs> well, here's, here's, here's the problem I'm, uh, I'm going to pose to you, uh, Claire. Yes. You can't see that far. Oh, but the wand can. Um, the wand is sentient, and it has a dark vision range of 120 feet. Oh, yes. What I the that block. wand is fucked up, man. They thought of everything. Yeah, I, I probably should have read that a little more. <laughs> yeah, you said no broken bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw, like, I saw, like, the animate dead and the speak of the dead. I was like, oh, yeah, it, that shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Apparently, and I just picked it because it looked interesting. I'm like, "Yeah, let's do this." Woo! Never nice again. Quick one on you. <laughs> Never again. All right, so let's see here. Um, must make a Constitution saving throw. The DC is right, eighteen. So already you have it set up already. Yeah, I already fixed it. All right, so yeah, go ahead and target them all and roll that beautiful bean footage. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. One, two, three, four. All of them are dead except one. All right. So, yeah, you, you do that. You hear um, winces of pain as they all turn to y'all. And, and Fritz, did I hear you say that you were going to do something? Uh, yeah, I was going to cast uh, Insect Plague, but I can't see where I'm casting it now, so it doesn't matter. All right, everybody so. roll initiative. Roll E initiative. Whoa, 20. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, you're getting better. You're getting better. <laughs> <laughs> At least it actually made a All one right. instead of a zero. How am All I first? Right, That's right. not possible. Oh, yeah, okay, I got a better... Okay. Yes, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do some kind of monk shit here. Watch this janky movement. Oh, you didn't lock tokens. You want to lock tokens, sir, so we can tell our distances? Tokens are locked. All right, I'm going to go 20 plus another... 
I'm going to go 50 to there because that's my movement, 50. Okay, wait, hold on. I have to do this uh, roll a d6. If I roll 1 through 5, I can't cast that again until the next dawn. All right. Whoa. Nice! Aha! That's okay. crazy. Okay, so I'm going to attack the troll, and meanwhile, I'm going to yell... Troglodytes unite! <laughs> Even though my friend just killed all your friends. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to swing my little fucking weapon. And I am, of course, going to spend a key point again for stunning strike. Fuck. All right, then I'm going to do my offhand attack. All right, hang on one second before you apply any damage. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, stunning strike again, why not? Damn it. And then I'll do my extra attack, which I forgot to do last time. I have my bonus attack, but I also have my extra attack. All right. And I'll spend another key point trying to stun this guy. Damn it. Okay, that's it for me. All right. And then it I yell out, he's you. got five arms. Help. Help me. So he makes, um, he five reaches attacks. forward <laughs> and bites you. And then he does, he attack me five times. God damn it. And then All he right. swings at you five times. I have uh, I have reactions here. Let me see if I can use any. No. Oh, wait. Uh, no. When a creature misses you with a melee attack, you can spend a key point as a reaction to cause that attack to hit one creature of your choice other than the attacker that you can see within five feet of you. Okay, so none of that's going to happen. Go ahead. Okay. All right, so let's see here. I'll roll attacks first and then damage. Okay. There's one miss, two miss, three miss, four miss. Oh, miss. my God. I'm invincible, everybody. Wow. I cannot be hit. I can be bitten, though. <laughs> Okay, I, just, I was just so making tasty. sure it wasn't because I was holding down control or some kind of shenanigans or something. <laughs> What's your <laughs> AC right. at? Uh, I think it's seven, uh, 18. Yeah, this uh... guy just rolled really, really crappy. Uh, Fritz Shrep. I'm going to move up. I'm going to scroll through my 5,000 goddamn spells, sorry. I am going to cast Sacred Flame on the troll. Nice. It succeeded. And, and that'll be my turn. All right. Um, the struggle out here is going to... It does that and that. So it's going to bite this thing once. Claw this thing once. And claw this thing again. And then it is going to going to move out of that thing's range. Let me give it uh, opportunity attack. It let's let's loose a little yelp and falls at your feet there, Rob. Uh, Moonglum, it's your uh, you're up. All right, I'm gonna move to there and uh, whip out the old hand crossbow. Target the a five arm troll. Yay! Nice. Oh, I just blew up the map. I don't know what the hell happened there. I just blew this map. I can't like... from here, but uh, we'll do that next. Um, I got it to y'all, y'all give me some uh, history or nature checks. 
Let's see if you actually know to do that. History or nature checks. And didn't just meta game something. Right? Fire. Oh, yeah. Shit. 11th level. We probably know about trolls. I don't know. I've seen some uh, level 11 PCs that aren't too bright. Luckily, y'all are not that sort, and you all know that fire (laughs) or acid will kill this thing. Um, All right, Claire, you're up. All right, let me go ahead and move up there. Let's go beeline it. You dashing? Yeah, I'm going to dash. Okay. Be like, I got a tinderbox. Let's get this going. Let's get some kindling, whatnot. Oh, it's me again. I am going to move to right up here so I can get some flanking action. And isn't it dead? Yeah. Uh, maybe? We got okay. it on fire. I'm going to, since I know I have to hit it with fire, I'm going to light my torch as an action and then burn it. And it will scream, no, daddy, not the, not the cigars again. <laughs> and that's what you get for spilling paint on the garage floor. <laughs> Smoke up, Johnny. All right. <laughs> I killed this. this uh, I'm going to quickly snuff out my torch before it even burns like has been used at all and save it because I'm a cheap, cheap, frugal bastard and put it back in my backpack. And I'll be so back. What, uh, I have to use the washroom real bad. Please excuse okay. me. Just go, man. Just go. <laughs> you don't keep a bottle on hand just for these emergencies? <laughs> just go, man. <laughs> oh, that's warm. All right, so oh, what, uh, what were y'all's thoughts on that? If, uh, if you didn't have the, uh, the wand of Orpus? Super wand. <laughs> Is that adventure? I probably would have waited until either the Trilodites or the Troll won. Yeah, yeah. I I would, except for that I'm impatient and want to go kill shit, I would have been interested to see which victor came out on top, and then they'd be all tired and exhausted when they could rush in and kill them. Yep. Um, so what uh, what would have happened if y'all would have watched is after six round each round it would kill a troglodyte and each round its hit points would have stayed the same. Um, so uh, there wouldn't have really been any rolling or whatever. It would have just been after six rounds all the troglodyte dies. Okay. Oh, okay. And then come at it with the uh, torches. And then if y'all would have helped the troglodytes and killed the troll, um, they would have ran off um, into and disappeared into the wall somewhere. Aha. All right. That would have been uh, nice to see where they went. Um, and so, yeah, you see a pit to your left, and yeah. It looks like a water sh- or a slide. Put your blankie down and roll. Yeah. At the at the amusement park. That's, yeah, it's too far across to jump. It's a crevasse, right? You're a crevasse. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! Gauntlet thrown. I didn't know you knew me that well. All right, so so Claire, you move to there, and Rob, let me put where you move back to where you were, Rob. Uh, I was up here like that. All right, let me lock these tokens. So Claire, you move to there, and all of a sudden you see these tentacles come springing out from the crevasse. Why me? Uh, Why not Moonglum? He's there too. Oh, he was he was getting ready to get his, but you uh you moved up uh as well. 
Oh, God. Um, so you see one of those um, roping out at you. Get it? Um, <laughs> so let's see here. Um, it will do. Moonglum says, throw me the wand before he takes it from you. Throw me the wand. I throw you the <laughs> idol. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it might kill you. But, um. Um, so it hits you with its thing. You are now grappled. Injury strain. Let's see here. All right, everybody roll initiative. All right. It's Mr. Roper. And it is down in the crevasse. Oh, we just need uh, Fritz to come back and roll. Does does how how far down from the ledge is he? Um, let's see here. What is it? One one D six um per ten feet, correct? For like yeah. falling damage. Um yeah. so it is thirty feet down then. Okay. I think uh, Stoner might be doing more than washing in the washroom. Yeah, sorry. I really had to use the bathroom. It was necessary. So um, Claire decided to go over and peek down into the crevasse and got uh, grappled by a roper, and uh, you rolled initiative. Excellent. Yes, sir. Um, Rob, you're up. All right. All you see is this giant tentacle... Um, Wrapped around Claire. Can I attack the tentacle? Uh, you absolutely can, yeah. All right, I'm going to do that. So this happens. Um, so, yep, that's a hit. Um, now, since I'm, since I'm attacking a tentacle, I don't think I can really do... Stunning strike on just I'd have to hit like the thing, right? Wouldn't you think? I don't know. Um, yeah, I wouldn't think that you would be able to okay. stun the entire well. Hmm, is it like electricity? Yeah, it's nervous <laughs> system, it's jack. Yeah, I, I would say, yeah, that you point. would be able to, yes. Okay, then I am. Going to give it its save for my next key point. God damn right. All right, so it failed. It's stunned, and then I'm going to attack it twice more. All right. Um, all right, so don't roll damage. Um, we'll roll damage, but, but don't target it. Uh, okay. Because the tendrils have separate hit points from the actual roper. Oh, okay. Um, so, all right. So you um, you kill the tendril that was um, grappling Claire. Okay, and there's no other place for me to attack it unless I jump thirty feet down, right? Correct. All right, then I will. Uh, I will forego the rest of my turn then because I can't really do anything. But it's stunned. Boom. I thought you could run on walls and shit. 
Oh, fuck, that's right. Never mind. I can run on vertical surfaces, bitches. That's totally true. So, how far did like, I move? So 15, 20, 25, and then I'll go down uh, 25 more. So, I'll be adjacent to it five feet up, basically. Okay. And then I'm going to attack it instead of tentacles. I'm going to attack it directly. Yeah. I forgot I can. Now, actually, I, I think I can run on surfaces without falling. But then I, I don't know what the rule is. I don't think I can. Like, if I'm running on water or, the, or a wall that's vertical, I don't think I can stop and stick on it. So I would probably fall five feet at the end of this turn. Um, what's the thing that gives you... It's called, um... One moment. It's called... Well, vertical... Okay, hold on. It is called... What is that called? It's called... Drunken, I gotta go back. Drunken technique? Nope. No, it wasn't that. It's, it's called slow fall. Nope. It's called. Apparently, your character has a drinking oh. problem, though. <laughs> yeah, he's totally a drunken Tipsy master. sway, drunkard's luck. Okay, dis, Jackie uh, Chan. Drunken technique? No. Man, where where the hell is that? I know it's there. I'm a monk, dude. Oh, maybe it's under martial monk arts. Can move on vertical surfaces and liquids without falling. He's fucking Jesus, man. Yeah, that, those are your words in the but, chat. But right, but I don't remember what power gave me that. I just made the note about it. Uh, fuck. I I don't I don't find it now. But I I mean I didn't just make it up. What um, uh, Stoner, you said you play a monk. Hell no. <laughs> oh oh, Rob, you do? No no. I I, I, Today I, he oh, does. Okay. <laughs> He plays I'm, just Adam. Wondering, I'm wondering if it's a different path that lets you do no, that. No, no, I, I, I swear to God, I read it, and then I was like, oh, that's really cool, and then I added it to my... Is it the feet I took? No. Okay, unarmored movement. At ninth level, you gain the ability to move on vertical surfaces and across liquids on your turn without falling during the move. But see, when the move's over, I bet I fall. So since Thank I'm goodness five for feet... drunkard bounce. Right? So I'm not going to take any damage, but... Uh, I'll, I'll, but I'll still end up on the floor next to the guy. And it looks like you always land on your feet. Do I have some kind of cat look shit? I don't know if you do or not, but with something like Drunkard's Luck, um, you land on your feet. Okay. All right, cool. So I did that, everybody. He's stunned. All right, Claire. I am going to cast Spiritual Weapon. All right, one second. Stooner, can't you run on walls? Oh, fuck yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Made a big deal about it like four hours ago. I was just telling my recording. Not even my fucking character, and I know better. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. I get, you know, I get looking at my sheet. It's got so much stuff on it I never use and don't know how to use it. All right, uh, there you go, uh, Claire. What is that, a cat? It's a dog. A dog, okay. So the dog is going to attack uh, the roper. Mm 
Okay, so that was bonus action, and then I can do regular action, right? Yes. Okay, and I'm going to bane it. And I'm not grappled, right? That is correct. I'm going to move. Am I still going to be able to see it or no? Or do I need to be at the edge? You'd need to be at the edge. Okay, that's fine. I am going to look down at this thing with my hand crossbow and launch a bolt right into the top of its dome. Got him. Pierce DC. Got him. And yes. Max damage. And I'm keeping an eye out for... Uh, Rope's coming up, and I'll just step back to there, and then I'll move back in when it makes turn. All right, Fritz. Uh, 25 to there. Can I see it? Yes, you can. Cannonball. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is that a power? <laughs> <laughs> no. But I'm gonna try and you're just gonna you're just gonna body. fucking be like Geronimo um, so, <laughs> so give me um oh, shit. give me an agility saving throw. Agility I guess position are you playing? I guess that's the right word for this. I <laughs> I've been playing uh, Shadow of the Demon Lord too long. I wanted a I was not agility, a dexterity. Wow. <laughs> Or yes. acrobatics, maybe, is what you want. Yes, yes, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you, uh, Rob. Acrobatics. They're both the same at plus one, so. Um, so, yeah, you're good. You you land it. And I... Um, now I'm all fucked up for words. I dash to get there, so. All right. That's my turn. The Roper is stunned. Uh, Rob, you're up. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to just do what I have to do. I'm imagining that... Oh, he's stunned. No, no, he's not stunned now. Um, I th- You know, I think that's actually the end of your turn. Uh, it is. Okay, I'll just give myself advantage then. Uh, yes, it is the end of my turn. You are right. And so... I stunned him for you. Good. Because I'm just going to keep on fucking doing shit. I'm going to spend a key point and try to re-stun him. Uh, no, it didn't happen. Second attack. Key point spent. Restun. Yes. Okay, so I put it on him for the round. I don't know if you, he might be doubled up now. And then my offhand attack. Yes. I'll be done. And how many key points do I have? 11. I have two more. All right, so we will not continue on with this fight because it is obvious that uh, y'all are going to kill it. It has, like, 12 hit points left. Yes. Cannonball. All right, I'm going to tie a rope around this stalagmite and throw it down for uh, Fritz. And Do we see beyond any, uh, you know, down that way, any other area, or is that it? Um, yes, you do. You see. Um, oh, that's up there. You see, um, just a bunch of stalactites still and stalagmites. Do we want hey, to baby keep... Jesus, walk up that wall <laughs> and tie, tie the other end of the rope on one of those stalactites over there and we'll rope across. Oh, is the black part of that like a deep 
beyond yeah it's a, a oh. 30 foot deep uh, crevice oh so it's only 30 okay so uh yeah i'll 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 run and well i'm not sure i understand how that works when i when i walk down there to go to the guy i guess i misunderstood how that worked but nobody said anything about it. uh can't we just jump across it it's only like five feet. Yeah, you you can get a five, ten, fifteen, twenty. It's about twenty feet across. Oh, so the whole thing. Okay, I see. It kind of like looks like it kind of slopes down, very very sharply. Okay. Uh, well, I'll just walk to the bottom and then walk up the other side with the rope, and then. <laughs> We can <laughs> talk yeah, to the broken. talk to the stalagmite there, tie it there, and tie it across there, and then they can just sort of shimmy across the rope, I guess, one at a time. All right, that sounds reasonable. And I did one of those fancy knots on the other side, so we can yank three times, and it pops off. Ooh, I don't know about any such knot. I gotta learn about that. <laughs> That's what she said. Swash <laughs> All right, so y'all get over to there. Um, <laughs> What's that joke? The... Uh, guy says to his wife, "If you if you want to have sex, just tug once, and if you don't want to have sex, just tug three hundred times." <laughs> And uh, so yeah, just more stalactites and stalagmite. I look at, uh, I look at, um, I look at Moon Club and I go, and now we have no rope to go across back to the other side. Did you say Moon Club? He did. Moon Glum, Moon Glum, I said. <laughs> wow. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I heard that too. I, was yeah, like, I did. I, didn't I want was to reading it when I said it. You so, were talking uh, to me. Got something uh, on your mind, Rob? <laughs> no, I. Yeah, Fantasy Grounds Friday tip. That's what's on my mind. Got two of them now. Just be careful when you type it out. <laughs> 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 ben, yeah. <laughs> Hashtag fuck. Oops. Whoops. Hello. Yeah, I got a tip for you. <laughs> just the tip, just for a second. Let's play a little game. All right. Um. So normally, what would happen here? Um. One second, guys. Yes, sir. It's fighting. I heard it loud and clear. It's biting. I heard it loud and clear. I you gotta remember I live with two kids, right? You hear that shit from like a mile away. It's great. Man, my daughter and wife fight like a married couple. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see here. Let me reveal this. All right. Normally what would happen in here. Um, as y'all would have came in, um, you were going to be attacked by all of those 26 piercers. Whoa. Damn. But, but I don't feel like dealing with 26 piercers, um, initiative in combat because that would be amazingly boring especially since they can only move five feet once they fall on the ground um so let's see here so we're gonna circle hand away that if y'all are <laughs> okay with it yeah, yeah circle of death i'm all right with that all right um there's nothing in there anyways it's just uh as you move through there the things fall on your head and try to uh, pierce you. Yeah, I can totally do that. Circle of death. Nice. All right, so which way do y'all want to go? 
Somebody can move me. I'm going to be AFK, but I will be able to hear you. I think we're going to the big side of the cavern on the left. All right. Looks like we're not. We're going straight south. Oh, wait. I got to. Everybody's looking now at my get legs. The video, right. everybody's looking at my legs. I just want to see where it knee. connects. Hey, y'all can use Rob's character to just run, like, all over the map and explore stuff. It'll be all right. <laughs> Hell yeah. We'll leave him alone. I better pick my PC back up. Just seeing where it all connects. That way we can be like, okay, we got the map done. Some special OCD. Yeah, I am. There you go. All right, that makes me feel better. Or in our Friday games, we have to clear every level. That's what drug my Horde of the Dragon Queen game to a screeching halt. They had to clear every level? Yeah, they hit... Um, Have y'all ran that at all? No. I played in like the last... The last like nine hours of gameplay of it. There's a castle towards the end of it. Maybe towards the middle-ish end. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The, like it's got the portal in the bottom and the big swamp outside and stuff. Yeah. They wanted to explore every single inch of that map, and that map is huge. Like, every room, every NPC they wanted to fight. Oh, my goodness. It was it was an ass whip. And you resisted railroading him. That was, that's good DM. Yeah, I yeah. was like, all right, here we go. <laughs> Better than me. I tried to run Princess of Apocalypse and it's not a straight enough line for me. And that's what everyone loves about it, but that's what I hate about it. So I literally called it quits on Princess of Apocalypse. My favorite as the deal. Alright, that one's done. All right, I am going to nobody move. So let's see here. As y'all approach to there, um, you hear the sounds of a great battle. Um, the ceiling here climbs upwards of 50 feet, and Rob sees that. You see... Um, A bunch of drow, and in the middle of the drow, you see two of these fighting. There we go. Um, let's see here. Da -da -da -da. Hey, you. I don't like Chesmees. Mosquitoes and some sort of like. Frog thing. You see um, the drow on the south side um, appear to be wearing the same garb as the house of Andrar, however you pronounce it. Um, the house to the north, um, or the drow to the north, have on a different um, color garb. They do not match the garb of the drow that you found at the Behir's lair. 
So that could be uh, the house of Akora. No, the one at the Behir's Lair was House of Akora. Oh, okay. So these are new ones. These are new ones. Um, and you see the demons in the middle. They are all glowing um, brightly. So what would y'all like to do? Do you want to take like a health break uh, so that Rob can come back and we can all uh, take a health break? Yeah, yeah, we'll take a quick little five-minute bio. I mean, a real quick circle of death. I'm just kidding. Do it now. (laughs) In this case, I also want to cast my spell because I can see them. But yes, uh, quick health break sounds fantastic. All right, yeah, we'll be back at 30 after then. All right. Perfect. The Hezrau. Ooh, and the Chasmy. They all look nasty. So we're right up here like this. Alright, so those guys are going to be gone a little bit for break time for a couple more minutes. So in that case, I'm going to take a shot of this print screen.
save. I realize that anybody watching this video in the future on YouTube, this is the boring part. All right, I'm back. Is anybody else here? Uh, I am here, sir. Welcome back, sir. Uh, so, Rob, on your Kickstarter, do you actually see who actually backs it? Yeah. Oh, nice. I can see who backed it and for what amount. And then if it's successful, I take all the people who did the jokes, and it, it doesn't show me their email or anything now, just their name. But then I think I get all their emails, and then I can send them the thing to fill out or whatever it is. I think once the... I think if a, if a Kickstarter doesn't make it to the goal, then they, they don't bother giving you everybody's email or whatever. I think that's how it works. Starting to see a lot more um, fantasy ground streams on uh, Twitch. Oh yeah, yeah. I usually go through and follow all of them that I see. Yeah, there's lots of really good ones. Some are really, really bad, but some are really, really good too. It's the ones I say are really, really bad. It's more like when I first started streaming. <laughs> That's why it's really bad. Like, amateur. And don't get me wrong. I'm still a fucking amateur, but... I think it got a lot better than it was. I beg to differ. I played in your first game, and it was awesomeness. The DMing's always been there, but I mean the stream. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like the professional part of the stream and the overlays and stuff, yeah. But not even the overlays, just like, you know. I've been not wanting to download uh, Voice Mirror Banana onto the new computer because it's such a fucking son of a bitch to get set up. But I find it damn near impossible to stream without it now. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Yeah, voice meter potato comes out today, I think. Like for real? Uh beta. 
Like what is what's the difference? Uh like cables A through D and whatever I don't know. Gwydion was telling me about it. He's all into it. Yeah, I'm waiting for Gwydion to do his thing with it before I even yeah. look at it. Oh, interesting. So then then it's going to be starting up just a bunch of different music platforms and piping them into different audio or virtual cable channels. I don't know. Like, I know my Siren Skate plays through cable B. I wonder if you have like another soundtrack or something that you could pipe through Windows Media Player or some crap like that or something through like Cable C and all that crap. Sirenscape just had a brand new update, eh? It's, I was reading on Gwydion's thing. It's, uh, it does some crazy shit now. Like you don't have to fire up all the random stuff that you had to before. I didn't uh, fully complete read it, but it looked pretty cool. Like a lot, lot more uh, user friendly now. Yeah, and they just got Sirenscape just got a license with Watsi for fifth edition sounds. Oh, nice! Awesome, Finally, but that's going to be a lot of work for me because I did the sound module thing, and I'm probably going to have to go in there and change them all. But it'll be super cool. Are we just missing Fury? I guess so. Yeah, I looked. Um, I signed up for Battle Bards because I had some free stuff. I didn't actually pay for it, but that is expensive. Yeah, I looked into that a couple years ago. Does this uh, campaign uh, say that the players should have one very rare item, or is that something you uh, implemented? Um, that's something that I looked at. I I googled like what type of items should this level have, and a very rare is something that it um, is what a level eleven should be. Gotcha. And I. I can kind of see the Wand of Orcus because out of the Abyss, I want to say you can actually get the Wand of Orcus if you kill him. And, but what level does that campaign end? Spoiler alert, by the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't it end at like 10 or 12 or something? Which one? Out of the Abyss. Oh, probably like 11, yeah. So yeah, Rob, I would definitely be, because we'll probably call it an evening here very shortly, because um, there's there's not much left to do. Well, I have this Saturday. Next, next weekend is completely off for me. Like, I might not even make Friday's game. I have a wedding to go to and some pre-wedding shenanigans again. Weddings. What a waste of time, huh? I don't know. We went to the stag. We went paintballing. I was sore for three days, but I had a f- lot of fucking fun. And then we were supposed to go to the bar to meet the girls for their stagette. But we were in one of the, the best man's backyard playing beer pong and shit. And we were all way too hammered to just leave, to even leave the house. So, ended up being good. The girls just came to the house instead. So, Chris, you mean uh, that the that the there's not much more to do on the whole entire thing? Um, yeah. Uh, 
Um, just looking through here. Let me see. Um, yeah, it looks like maybe, maybe another hour and a half or so, possibly. It's mainly... Mainly just a bunch of combat, to be completely honest with you. Period, are you back yet? I wonder if she's AFK, obviously. I don't know what happened to her. That's what she told your prom date, right? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> the hell is happening here? Would you like to be more specific, please? Yes, I have an application open on my computer that will not close. So I'm going to force it to close. Because fuck. And done. Yeah, I heard you say it at seven or at uh, thirty after, but she's not back. So if she doesn't come back, what do we do? Like a half session next week and then the other half on Rob's side? Yeah, yeah, that's what it uh that's what it looks like. Yeah, I didn't look to see like how Oh, she just checked it. Okay, cool. Welcome back. Sorry I'm late. That's all right. Um, so Rob, did you hear the description about coming up on the, the battle? Yeah, the, the, the glowing and then, and then these fucking things with the mosquitoes and uh-huh. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. The three demons are glowing. Uh, the drow, um, in front of y'all are wearing the house colors that y'all are allies with. And the ones right. on the opposite side are wearing a different color. All right. Um, so what would y'all like to do? like to come up to the drow and say we're here to join forces my brethren I choose to ignore everything he's doing and we're <laughs> the fuck is my uh, are we going to join up with our brethren like, and sisterin 
Yeah. And then, and then Fritz comes up behind me and puts his arms around one of the drow and stabs him in the back. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm gonna cast Insect Plague right there. Oh my god. I like it. Um. So, are you going to ask them? Yeah, I'll I'll just let you. What's the range on that? Three hundred feet. Okay. I threw it in the chat. All right, go ahead and uh, roll that beautiful bean footage. All right, there's their saves. Oh, I only targeted one, not all three. Apparently, I have myself targeted two. Hold on. So before you do that, um, why don't you move in a little closer and then give me a perception? <laughs> Come a little closer. Uh, that's as close as I'm willing to get. Okay. And I will give you a perception check. So you get the feeling that one of those beasts um, is conjured by one side and some of the beasts are conjured by the other side. Oh, can I wreck on them? Um, yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, I'll tell, um, yeah, I'll tell my teammates, um, as far as I can tell, the mosquitoes are bad. The giant, like, Ankylosaurus thing is good. These are, like, summoned beasts to fight each other. Yeah, and I, I should have told you that when um when Rob walked in and and said, hey, we're Hiller here to help y'all, I would assume that they would have turned around and said, okay, well, this guy's ours, that guy's theirs, we're trying to kill him. It's a Pokemon battle, but we're allowed to interfere. That's right. Alright, well, so I don't know what we're going to do now. I intend to do this crazy shit because I thought the drow were fighting those things and now I'm at a loss. Yeah, it looks like the two houses are fighting each other. So, are they actually helping the bugs fight or are they just kind of watching the bugs fight? Um, you see them every now and again um, throw off some crossbow bolts uh, across at each other. Um, they're kind of dropped down behind the rocks. Every town again, they'll peek up and shoot that, shoot off something. Um, you see um, a bunch of drow bodies and troglodyte bodies everywhere. It's kind of meaningless. Mm. I think we should kill them all. Circle of death. <laughs> <laughs> That was just my hold, first reaction. Just hold up the wand and go, listen, everybody, I've already killed every fucking thing in here with this, so just fucking back off. <laughs> See if they believe you. Okay. So I'll go ahead and walk up uh, brandishing my little wand. Be like, hey, y'all need to quit this shit. Go home. Break it up. Party's over. Um, They look to you and salute you and recognize you as an ally. Um... Because word has reached them of the the noble party of adventurers, and they point to the uh, to the drow across the way, um, tell you that they are from the house Freth, and that they are the uh, the enemy. All right, let me get up to the front of the line. Uh, I'm gonna follow fairly close. All right, just in case shit hits the fan that we didn't expect. So, addressing to the House of Freth, this needs to stop. You need to go back to your houses at once. Um, all right, give me one second. The 
hell? You suddenly see this cloud of green fog emanate around you. That's probably bad. Green fog. That looks like a 20 foot radius. Yes, it does. Um, let's see. It's actually 25. That should be 20 now, correct? It should be four on each side. So one, two, three, four. That's like four and a half. But, it's close but don't you target one square and then it's from that square out 20? You like instead what? of putting it I on never, the line, I yeah, think you... I never fucking can know how they how that shit works. Well, see, that's how I figured it, it out. Like, it, if you put the little point in an actual square, and then when you count out from that square point, that's where you get right, your radius. But if you're, but according to the way it's written, it's a twenty foot radius, which means it's forty feet across. So if you're doing it the way you're saying, it would be forty five feet across. So I don't think that's how you do it. I think you put it on an intersection and you make it four by four. Or eight by eight, rather. We'll go with that right there. Yeah, that, that um, is a 20-foot right radius square. Because if you count from the center point, one, two, three, four squares out, right? Even though it says 15, that's that's why Fantasy Grounds has always been a little off on that. Also, is this a magical spell? It would uh, my, yes, it excuse is. me. Would my character recognize it as a magical spell? Um. Yes, you would. I choose to dispel it immediately. <laughs> what is uh? What is the? Uh, is there like a level third range level. or anything? Third level yeah. or lower automatically ends. Fourth level or it higher. Has... Uh, target can make ability check using uh, my spellcasting ability. DC so there's, plus the spell there's spell. a difference between dispel and counterspell. Which one are you using? Dispel. Dispel means dispel that it goes off and then you yeah, get rid of it. Dispel can't. Oh. Dispel can only be used after something's already in effect. You are correct. My bad. Counterspell is the one you want, which is you can stop it from happening. Yeah, I'm a cleric, not uh, anything else. Not anything else. <laughs> I like the way you yeah. <laughs> I'm a man, not other than a man. <laughs> I'm I'll a get man. into that, but I'm recording right now. As are most of us. All right, there we go. I had to get all, uh, let's see. Oh, I missed one. There we go. All right, so he's going to target that, 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 that. Get enough sleep again today. I think I got everybody. Um, and let's see here. He is going to cast this. All the dice. Um, let's see here. That's a lot of dead folks. Yeah, but they're a lot of popcorn. They're like not that much HP. <laughs> bam, 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 Just pop, pop, pop. Like in uh, the end of that movie where their heads all explode. Um, yes. The Kingsman? <laughs> 
guys are the same boat as you, Greg. But they didn't have a fucking clue what he's talking about. And everybody roll initiative. All right. All right. Fury, did you talk to Dave? No, not yet. I sent him a friend request. But I should. I think he thought you were going to call him. Oh, I don't want to seem intrusive. No, no, he, he was pretty clear about it's fine to give her my number and ask her to call me if she'd like to do that. Oh, well, fuck. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> I, I mean, I get really nervous about calling people. Yeah, I know. I understand. Uh, he, he was, Dave? Yeah, Dave. Yeah, Dave wanted to talk to her about a possible gig. Yeah, he prefers to talk on the phone. Okay. Then I will call him tomorrow afternoon if it's okay. I'll ask him if it's okay and then call him. And what you should do is call him up and go, is it okay if I call you? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Call him at like 10 in the morning. It's like, is it okay if I call you in about roughly five hours from now? <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, let's see here. This guy. He called me in the middle of the night. I don't know what was going on, man. This guy's gonna cast insect plague. Son yes. of a bitch. Not on y'all. Oh, this is for us. It's a vicious spell. Yeah, I'm let's see here. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Hey, hey Claire, you're up. Uh, let's see here. You start your turn in the thing. Um, so there's a little bit of that. There's a little bit of that. Oh, no. I don't like it. A little bit of 34 damage. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, uh, Kira. God damn. As you were. 
All right, I'm going to move out of this smoke cloud of hell. Yeah, that's within my movement limit. And I'm going to just kill everybody. <laughs> and when you say that, you mean it. I'm just going to take a couple seconds here to go ahead and wipe out all of the beings in existence. <laughs> You're going to... Has everybody here seen Avengers Infinity War? Yes. No, but you can spoil it because no, I'm not yeah. interested in it at all. I'm going to throw this shit up. <laughs> what about you, up. you rush? <laughs> yeah, if Fury did it, yeah. You're going to Thanos everybody. Oh, you're even Thanosing your own party, your allies. YOLO. Whoa. All the failures. <laughs> Quick, one kill those, that one guy. One of those drow <laughs> turns turns to you and goes, "Whose side are you?" And then that's all you hear. <laughs> it's like I told you to go home. Damn! Fucking circle of life. That's not what that's called. Hold on, guys. Roll a d uh, six to see if I can cast that again today. And I won't oh. be able to. Uh. All right, so so Easy let choice. me scroll through here and see. All right, so the drow priestess she lost her concentration. My um, turn's coming up a lot quicker than it was. The mage lost his. I'm all the way up. Alrighty. Okay, bonus action. I'm gonna do it again. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> spiritual weapon and uh, on that chick there. Where do you want it? Yeah, right next to her right on uh, the to... drow priestess of the, the one in front of me. Okay, I, I, right. I can't have so any survivors. This, this missile flies out um, from you and takes the shape of a whale. Oh, I missed her. That's disappointing. I didn't have a bowl of petunias. The flower bouquet or anything like that? Nope. Um, all right, so let's see here. These things are now all pissed off at, at me. All. Yes. So let's see here. Um. This thing, let's see here. Five, ten. Want to come to here? Gets the chicks. And it goes is down going to the to bank, attack, disguised um, as me. Bring it the fuck down. And miss. This guy here will fly his happy ass. Over to uh, Claire there. And proboscis her. What? Pro Don't you use those big words with me. <laughs> <laughs> he knows stabbed you. No stamped? Okay. He does that to you. But misses. All right. Um, Moonglum, you were within 30 feet of the of the demon. Um, let's see here. I need you to give me a DC 12 constitution saving throw. There you go. You succeed. All right, sir. All right, I'm going to... Uh, tokens aren't locked. They are now, yes. 
I'm going to move up to uh, the other side of this guy and attack the Drow Priest. Leave no trace. Leave no trace. Thanos that shit up. Woo! Crit! That will suck the life out of her, but I don't think I need to. But Because uh, I've got this 9 life stealer with a crit. So she would need to roll a DC 15 or better to not just be slain immediately. Alright. Uh, DC of what? Con? Uh, I don't know if it says... Yeah, Constitution. Ooh, she's still up, but let's take a swipe at her with the damage. Well, all right, my offhand. And my extra attack for being a six-level fighter with the, the life stealer again. That's a miss. Hmm. Let me, I think I'll do a precision attack and use another one of those, and that's a T8. That'd be 17. Um, and that hits. Oh, one. Oh, got it. All right, I'm hanging here, hanging tough. All right, Fritz, if you would be so kind as to give me a con saving throw. Yes, sir. All right, you succeed. All right, so shit's a little bit hanky here, eh? Um... Yeah, I would like a spiritual weapon. Both there, please, sir. Where? Where? Sorry, it disappeared. There you go. And me and my spiritual weapon are going to fuck this dude up. Spiritual weapons attack. And then my attack. And that'll be my turn, sir. All right, let's see. This guy will cast greater invisibility on himself. The draw mage here. And then you have no idea where he goes. All right, uh, Rob, you're up. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go move to right there. Oh, before you moved right there, I uh -huh. I need a con saving throw from you. Oh, a con saving throw. You don't say. All right. All right, you may move. Okay, I'm going to go there and attack this thing. My flanking. Uh, Yeah, that's right. How come I didn't have advantage? Oh, because I didn't mark. Oh, that's no, fine. Doesn't matter. All right. Gonna attack it again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. Spend a key point. To do Fury of Blows. Which I believe gives me two attacks. Oh, 
will snap. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna do. Good work, Sir Monk. All right, let's see here. I'm just gonna run down there. And back to those calls. And do, and let's see here. Swing once, miss, claw once, and claw again. All right, the drow priestess here will cast. What does this do? Let's see how I can best Yeah, we'll go right there. All right, so there, 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 there. All right. And Claire. You have not made a con saving throw yet, correct? No, I have not. All right, so go ahead and give me a con saving throw. All right, you're good. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and blight the drow priestess. All right. All right. Okay, and then uh, my little spiritual weapon's going to attack that thing over there. All right. All right, this guy here will continue after Fritz doing that and hitting for 40 points of damage. That hurt. What in the hell? Ouch. Tis but a fan. Your hit point maximum is reduced um, by the amount equal to the necrotic damage. Don't worry, we can fix that. What's that? Oh, we can don't fix worry, that. Can fix that. <laughs> um, six, seven, eight. So that reduces your max hit points by 32. Damn.
which would be 70. Which means I'm damn near dead. reduces your hit point maximum to zero you die um the reduction lasts until you finish a long rest or you have greater restoration cast on you all right moon glum i need from you a <laughs> Hey, Studer, our Twitch baby. Yes, sir. Um, let's see here. Uh, Moonglum. <laughs> I need a constitution saving throw there, uh, Moonglum. What the hell is a Twitch baby? Nine months of you subs. Subbed, yeah, you subbed to somebody for nine oh, months. Oh, Twitch and you baby. baby. That's funny. Um, all right, so you succeeded. Nothing happens. All right, I finally get to use a sneak attack. I don't think the spiritual weapon counts as another creature, so it does not. So I'm going to use my uh, combat superiority precision attack if I need to here. First swing. Yay! We can life steal. Uh, yeah, he's not undead, so or a uh, construct. So I'll uh, do a life steal on him. Is that less than 100? He has to yes, succeed at 15 DC uh, Constitution check. He succeeded. All right, let's uh, put a little sneak on this one. So and how do you get sneak if you don't have an ally? If uh, For a Swashbuckler, if there's nobody within five feet of you, Another creature besides That's the one right. you're attacking. Yep. Wow, six. Holy crap. And uh, I'm going to do my offhand. The hit. Sneak oh, again. Crap. Oh, I can't <laughs> sneak as a bonus action? Sneak attack? or No, no, no sneak attack speed? is just a thing you add. All right. Partially resisted. All right, and my extra attack, uh, I'll use the precision attack. You can only do sneak attack once per turn, though. Oh, you can? Yeah. Um, so uh, let's see here. 7, oh. 8, 9, 10, 12, so 22. Track 22, okay. But he did resist part of that, too. So. Nice, right, so yeah, let's see here one second. Right. Um Okay, um uh, what well, damn it, I did it on the wrong one. Go darn it. Okay, go ahead. All right. Second attack with the uh, life stealer. Another crit. Come on. Oh, opposite. Uh, you wah, jinxed wah. yourself. And that will. Oh, I can uh, disengage. That's a true wah, wah right there. <laughs> so, uh, let me ask a quick question. Uh, the rackish ability lets you disengage without it being a bonus action, I believe. Let me double check that because I did use my offhand, so let me double check that. Oh, sorry. It's fancy footwork. Sorry. Yeah, yep, it's, I can make an if you make a melee attack against it. Yep. So I, I'll uh, I'll move back. Let me uh, just yeah I'll, I'll move twenty. Just one more, and then that'll be it. All right, Fritz. 
Uh, as my action, I'm going to touch myself. All right. Fuck, that's never been a level 11 cleric. It's a lot of scrolling. And as my bonus action, my spiritual weapons get attacked this fucking thing. Wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your spiritual weapon is drunk. That'll be my turn. All right. Not all of us get a whale as our spiritual weapon. I'm going to. That's a whale. I'm going to just move up here and attack this thing. I feel like it's kind of small for a whale. Twice. Mother of fuck. That makes and me feel I, a little bit better. Oh, man, I hit because I got scared of that big-ass whale. Look at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then that's it. All right. This thing here. I'm going to move down to there. In 5e pickups, a whale fell out of the sky, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's on the, uh, that's on the um, crit table. Yes, There's just is. so many questions, like how does a whale get stuck in the sky and how does it fall? And it's wild magic crazy. or something. I don't know. It's magic. Yeah. It's fantasy. Mm-hmm. That's what. That's if you're. Here's a DM trick for you and for everybody else that ever wants a DM. If the player just ever asks you, like, what that doesn't make any sense? How does that happen? Just go. It's Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> it's like <you> can, <laughs> it's like an answer for everything that you could possibly say. It's magic. I summoned a werewolf, and then immediately the next turn, I summoned a fucking unicorn. By accident. Oh, it was all that great crap? Yeah, that's so fun. Yeah, the uh, wild magic to get my goddamn uh, advantages back and shit. Claire, I need a con saving throw. From who? From Claire. All right, you succeeded. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use my bonus action to move the whale. Thank you, and to hit this thing that hit me. Hmm. Heal myself or commit more damage? Don't know. You only got six hit points. But there's just another cleric, so we're okay, right? I don't know. I just (laughs) lost just about half, or I lost like a quarter of my hit points, over a quarter of my hit points recently. Yeah, the monk now has the second highest max crit or max hit points in the party now because you guys got nerfed. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, how much did that thing hit me for? Not very much. I got hit for like 42 on my the giant fucking mosquito. Yeah, but mosquitoes are dicks. I'm going to go ahead and do a prayer of healing. That's 10 minutes. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. Thank you. I only know I only have that memorized because I tried to do that like forty five times, and each time <laughs> oh, that's ten minutes.
it's either I do a whole crap ton of healing or I do really shitty healing. There's no, I don't have spells that are halfway in between. Work whatever cleric -y magic you think you need to work. I guess I'll just do mask okay. your wounds. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to. <sighs> yeah, mask your wounds. Sorry, there's just too much spells for a cleric. A level eleven cleric. Yeah, too many spells. Okay, so that's going to be up to six creatures within a thirty foot radius, which is all you guys. But the only one that's hurt is Rob and me. Okay. Damn, that was a nice roll. Yeah, that was pretty good. And that, yeah, that did include the bonus healing. All right. This thing is going to continue to try to um, probe uh, Fritz. Probe. And miss. Moonglum. I'm going to move up to there. All righty. And do I need a con? Or because I did it before, I'm good. Yeah, if you succeed once, you're good. All right, and uh, I'll do advantage because of my cleric friend on El Otro side. And let's do it again with the offhand. And last swing. Giddy. Ah. He's tough, man. He's tough. Alright, Fritz. Uh, bonus weapon, spiritual weapon. It's gonna do its thing. Wah, wah. And then, hold on, I took a spell just for this type of fucking situation. I gotta find it. <laughs> I love that. There it is. Uh, and then I'm gonna cast Inflict Wounds. Oh, here we go. That's what killed the Tarask. Fuck you if you like uh, necrotic damage, you piece of shit, cock suck, fuck. It's a family show. <laughs> yeah, nothing's getting monetized on my anythings. And then I'll move over there, and that'll All be right. much. All right, Leroy. Leroy, I changed my name about an hour and a half ago. Did you notice that? Uh... It's now Leroy. Oh, no, I did not. I didn't even notice <laughs> Yeah, I that. changed it to the way you're saying it, like an hour and a half ago. <laughs> uh, he's going to come screaming right over there along the side of the whale and try to put this guy all the way out. Yeah. Another one. Monk. Oh, fuck. Monk. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, no. He gets another turn. Boo. 
All right. He is going to continue after player. Buy it once. And then claw. And claw. All right, Claire. Oh, thank God I'm still alive. You still have a whale of a chance. Ah. Oh, hello. I see what you did there. <laughs> yes. That was awesome. <laughs> All right, let me wail on him with my spiritual weapon. Hello. It's just never going to stop. <laughs> that fails. And I will just blight him. Blight him, you will. Nice. All right, so... Um, what was y'all's impression of that fight? That Good was uh, without her. God but it did ha- it didn't have to go that way at all. I mean, we could have helped our comrades taking out the two, um, which about mosquitoes, and then yeah, the other ones were. Why easy did to take Hezru out. attack us? Then is that because we killed the guy that was controlling them, or what? Because I hit them. I hit them all. Yeah, when she uh, when she attacked everybody, that made it a, a little hostile. Just us versus the mall, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's get our story straight. When these drow approach us, and one of them got away though. He went invisible, and so yeah, but that was for the other house, the one that we're not allies with. Um, but no, we went up to we went up to them. We told them they need to break it up. They need to go home. They didn't listen to us. We laid down the law. And that's it. And that's it. All right, so let's see here. If y'all would have chose to watch, if you're into that kind of thing, (laughs) um, they would have fought it out. Uh, Their forces would have dwindled slowly. Um, The mage on the other side would have used greater greater invisibility um, to run, which obviously he did. Um, the y'all side would have come out on top, and uh, looks like they would have asked you to just continue helping them fight it out. And so that's where we'll stop for the evening. For the game, All right. I fucking love this shit. So yeah. much fun. Yeah, it it's is gonna good. be it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty awesome when it comes out, you know, when the whole thing comes out and it's like twenty three levels of mayhem. Next Thursday yeah. we get to do a little bit more and then go up four levels. Yeah. Yeah, one one thing that I, I will say about this and Rob, I hope yours is different, is there is no flavor text whatsoever in this entire level. Yeah, I. That's probably you know what they're working on, and they want people to kind of bitch about it enough to motivate them. Well, no, no, no. I, I think they, I think they probably already have stuff, but when they do play testing, they, they want to test certain things, so they send the DMs materials that are stripped down because they want to get focused attention on things so they probably just didn't have like i haven't read mine yet i've scanned it but i haven't read it so i don't know if there's flavor text in mine either but i'm assuming there's not i'm assuming it's kind of the same thing i know um dragon heist had flavor text yeah yeah it did i'll I'll be ready though when uh, you know i'll read it so that if if we finish this one i'll be ready to we'll just level up four times and slide in and Chris, you should just make a level 15 guy ready to go. Okay. Would you prefer me getting rid of this wand of mass destruction? No, no, I don't. I, whatever it is, man, I don't care. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for the evening. I'm going to go climb the ladder and start shingling a fucking roof. We got it's like, like uh, hour what of time is that where you're at? 
Nine thirty. We got about an hour of daylight left. It's that's fucking crazy. Yeah, and it's the people I live with, and they're my best friends, and it's go time. Have you been living in Florida your whole life, Chris? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah. Yeah. So, like in the Northwest, in this, like in June, it gets dark at like ten o'clock at night. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah, when I was in yeah. New York, um, yeah, it got dark at like eight thirty, nine o'clock, or some crazy yeah, crap. Yeah, and then what's funny is in the winter, it starts getting dark outside at like three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it's funny or shit. Yeah, uh, so this is why I call daylight savings bullshit. Because with daylight savings, according to daylight savings times, I leave and it's just starting to get light out, and when I go home, it's dark as fuck out. Or without daylight savings time, I leave and it's dark as fuck out, and I go home when it's almost dark as fuck out. Well, it's funny. I tried that when I was in New York. I uh, messaged Dooner was going to try to, hey, let's meet up. You're in Canada. I'm just across the border. But apparently, Canada's like big. Canada's um, fucking huge, dude. <laughs> so he was like way he far away. He was like away. 12 hours away. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. No, Niagara Falls is like 23 hour drive or some shit like that for me. It's so farther I, than Whistler. Yeah. I live in Spokane, Washington. How 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 much is your drive to Whistler, Stuner? Like 20 uh, hours? Yeah, about 18 hours. Yeah. Uh, so I night. live in Spokane, Washington, and my drive's only nine. <laughs> Yeah, mine's one way. <laughs> See, your drive there and back is mine one way. And yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. When I I booked my flights is under four hundred dollars Canadian. That's pretty good there and back. Yeah, it's really nice actually. Last time I went to Canada, uh, the the exchange rate was exactly one to one, and now the exchange rate is. Uh, uh, one Canadian is 0. 0.76 US, so I'm going to make a lot of money when I go this time. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bring my what? US dollars up there and wave it around all over everywhere. Don't bring your US dollars up here because they're useless. Uh, get Canadian money at your bank. They'll give you the same exchange rate. Because if you bring like a US 20 up here, we the like random, the store that you go to is not going to change it as a US 20. They're like, we're going to treat this like a $20 bill. And you'll get Canadian change back. So you're going to get raped out of like $4. Oh, so, then I got it. Yeah, yeah it's 25% so go to, actually. Yeah, go to your bank and uh, just get Canadian money at the proper exchange rate. There you go. Yeah, you can't like... expect a 17 year old kid to know how to. I used to, uh, when I was, I, I can remember the exchange rate was 60 cents to the dollar when I was in high school because one of my first jokes I ever wrote was. I went to the Canadian strip bar, but she didn't appreciate it when I gave her two dimes and a nickel. (laughs) Sorry, it was two quarters and a dime. I'm sorry. But uh, anyway. All right. Enough of my bullshit. Hey, thanks, everybody. See y'all later. Have a good night. night. Bye. Bye. All right, so I'm going to stop the recording. So that was uh, part one of our playtest for... uh, Waterdeep Dungeon of the Mad Mage, and then we'll continue with the next part.